Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quest and Chaos. We are not the Chaos Agents. This is the 5e <laughs> Fight Club uh, with some amazing people joining me today. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Um, we are doing things a little different today. Uh, as you can see, this is episode one of the 5e Fight Club, which is going to replace the mitten because nobody understood what that was, mostly us. <laughs> <laughs> Great inside yeah. joke, though. Yeah, us in total party chill. It's like, wow, nice. But uh, it, and uh, for those of you wondering, the five E does not stand for fifth edition. It stands for uh, evade, evoke, eviscerate, eradicate, evade, and evoke. <laughs> the five E's of Fight Club. You uh, mean escape, not a something twice. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Make up his mind someday. Dodge, duck, dive. Dodge and duck, or whatever it is. I will let anyone uh, take over if they would like to uh, go for half <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, was that because you were saying all five E's or the accent? I couldn't quite figure out which one that was. <laughs> <laughs> that to me was a winner right there. So yeah, Definitely. Um, we have in this uh, fight club that we are doing today, we are, we are introducing the very beta version of the Deck of Inspiration. And the Deck of Inspiration is a number of cards that have interesting and, and different uh, abilities to them. Um, in fact, I, don't, I need to figure out how life works here. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> Deal one card. I wish I could just do this at random. Um, so I will oh, let me. The dealer. Oh, no. Let's say this is D six to Ben. I will deal one card to Ben. Uh oh. And you can. Uh, you must deal between one. Oh, one card. Deal. <laughs> If you want to open that, open that up. Let me see if I can. I it says I have one, but when I click on it, I get nothing. That's this is this is fantastic. We're <laughs> off to a great start here, everyone. It's a I can card. tell you about the one I had earlier that you took away from us. Sure, let's yeah, do man. that. Earlier, I had. It's a joker. It's anything you want. Oh yeah, it's um automatically survive. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least one of us. Uh, no, the one I had earlier was super cool. I don't remember the exact wording, but basically I could use it to automatically dash at a caster and interrupt their somatic hand-waving stuff and interrupt their spell, <sighs> and then I'm next to them. The so it was counter, right? It was judo counter judo job that spell off. It was counterspell for non-casters with no dice rolls. And that would be nice to have back if I could. Yeah, that was. That now, was the, the, the downside of using that card is that you move up to 10 feet and you, if you're standing next to an enemy, that you provoke an attack opportunity. But it's yeah. almost like you're like, blocked. My card is actually showing. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Rejuvenating so, mana. Wait, I have an option. I can't. I just looked at it and I, it says I can steal card. Let's not steal cards. <laughs> no. It's uh, a roll 20 mechanic. Don't use that. <laughs> uh, Brianna, did, did, uh, before we start off, we should introduce everybody uh, who's playing. Um, <laughs> we'll start with you and then you can tell, talk about the card that's in your, that's in your hand. Okay. Well, I am Brianna. <laughs> Uh, otherwise known as Crystal Sparkles, Brina, uh, the one who's always lurking in the background. I don't talk very much, but uh, I'm a lover too, and uh, you know, here to show my appreciation. And now I can talk about the card, right? Really cool card, yeah. So, rejuvenating mana. When consumed, this potion creates one temporary second level spell slot, which lasts for ten minutes. That's useful. which in the mitten is is pretty much the entire. entire minute. Yeah. <laughs> The um, that's a hot day right there. Yeah, a lot of a lot of these cards 
are very broken for the mitten because they say last to the end of combat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's forever. You know. <laughs> All right. Squeal, you are next. Uh, you quickly introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Ben, also known as Squeal the Bard, um, mm -hmm. the one who writes a lot of poetry and gets them into Candlekeep. But I'm excited to be here. I'm not quiet, as you can tell, either on chat, Discord, or here, apparently. <laughs> Very nice. Gimpy Libby. All right. I am Dan, otherwise known as Gimpy Libby on pretty much everything. Um, I'm just here to have fun and see what happens. Awesome. Awesome. Lucifer. Oh, that's me. Oh, OK. Uh, <laughs> my, my screen name is Lucifer Vajaka. My real name is Peter, but I always go by, by my screen name. Also, I'm not American. I'm actually European. So yeah, that's basically me. All the, that uh, little weird guy that was basically stalks you in the middle of the night. That's me. <laughs> we now. Nice. Awesome. And Seth. Hi, I'm Seth, uh, also known as NGC457, which is not a, a Star Trek spaceship. It, it, is a, it is a star cluster. Excellent. All right. So we're going to get into this. A couple of uh, just quick notes. Birds of Paradise has their Kickstarter that is going on right now. Um, amazing dice. Uh, we are not using them because we're going to be rolling in roll 20, but uh, supporting another community member out there who is doing something cool. All right. Um, so we're going to jump into this. So this first part applies. Well, you know what? Yes, we got more bets. We got more bets. <laughs> it's, it's to save it the day. Wait, do, we start it, do we start at four scans. since we didn't have a last session? <laughs> uh, we, will, we will start off. Yes, you do start with four because the Hefner. Oh, wait, no, you start with two. I start with two because the Hefner gave. 1,000 bits to the players. I'm mixing up my little uh, tokens. Uh, to the players and 1,000 bits to the DM. I don't know if I'll need it, but I will use it. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get nervous about this. I'm going to start keeping track as well. Yes. Uh, and Tamago Tora with 1,000 bits to the players. That gives you guys four bits. Thank you. One can be used for a d6 two can be used uh to pull a random card from the deck of inspiration and three can be used to re-roll a d20 uh inside the deck of inspiration three of those cards are advantage so eh, you know you might get it in there one of them is a turn a regular hit and do a critical hit there are three of those in there. There are a number of uh, a number of really cool things, and and we'll see what happens when we get to those. That's so, hard. So, legitimate question: When we pull a random card, are do any of them look like this, or are they all beneficial? Uh, they are all beneficial. Okay, that makes me feel much better. Yes, uh, and since we are That's... using that deck, we are not going to be using the. Uh, the 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 luck deck or the fates and foibles deck, I think that's what they call it. They have a new name for it. fortunes. Fortunes, fates and fortunes. as long as we're not oh, using right. any deck that has that image, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, uh, I'm trying to think where it went to. Although I, this this one's okay, we could use this one too. Oh, I yeah. like that one. <laughs> These are the new uh, the new critical hits for players decks. Mm. So, and this is the, the Treacherous Traps deck. So this is the one oh, that I said comes in the... Uh, I'll stick. Two decks. So one is... Um, Earthy. So one is, one is the trigger and one is the... So effect. beefy. Oh. So beefy. I know, it's thick. Well, I need to get uh, that. It's a very cool deck. And uh, you can use our code chaotic20 for checkout at nordgames.com and get 20% off. 
of any of those moments. Okay. There's story to happen here. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>. Insight. <laughs> That was, that was not in the papers I signed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, each of you finds yourself knowingly dreaming. You are um, cold. You hear the wind howling. Um, as I want to go in my thing, you hear the wind howling and the biting cold of the arctic nipping at your heels you in the you find yourself on an arctic landscape walking in through really a barren tundra when off in the distance you see three hulking figures one one of them huge And we will start with Brina. As you wake up on a granite slab in an unknown but dark and cold, what looks to be cell. Oh, come on. What did I do this time? <laughs> All right. Um, as, as you sort of slowly wake up and look around you see that there are arcane runes carved into this <laughs> nice blast uh, uh arcane runes. Plus. you can buy and guess guess that comes stop. <laughs> exclamation point merch uh in a the arcane runes covering this uh stone slab you see a massive wooden doorway uh, across from you and a small basin. Can you describe what your character looks like and what they're wearing and holding? All right, so Euphoria, as she is known, is a tiefling. So she's got those big old trademark uh, ram horns, and they've got little chain links coming down to her ears, and then big old earrings, and she's got rings on all her fingers, she's got, like, rings on her tail, which is, like, it's one of the narrow ones, but the end is a little bit floofy, and the typical, you know, tiefling feet, and she's wearing some, like, pretty nice traveler's clothes, like, noble traveler's clothes, clearly, uh, and she's got this big old box on her back or well if she's got her stuff she's got a big old box on your back can't see what it is yet and you know the usual backpack and this and that uh and rapier on her hip uh and some long long red hair that goes with her red floofy tail and red skin perfect uh you find out when you wake up that you do not have spells prepared, but you have the ability to do so now. So if you want to change out any spells, you can do that now. It's not even a bard thing. <laughs> but thank uh, you. <laughs> that will go for it. still remember. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, can you... Uh, we'll, we'll go through everybody. So... Um, and so let's do Ben. Um, so what your character name is, cilantro. Why did I not remember? Cilantro the cheesecake. Yes. So yes. you, <clears throat> do you, do, do Warforged sleep? Um, not exactly. They go in to kind of rest mode so they still have so this one still has that one blinking red light gotcha as so as you awaken from your rest mode um you as well see the uh, very similar stone slab with arcane runes a huge wooden door and 
a small wash basin in a dark cell. Hmm. This does not compute. What is this place? My creator is gone. I will have to rescue myself. All right. Jackson, you as well wake up on a stone slab with arcane runes, solid wooden door and a small wash basin in some sort of cell. Well, this is definitely not where I rested my head. Uh, better go see what's going on. All right. Bazgulub. Your feet hang over the edge on a stone slab that is not sized for someone of your size, but you find yourself in a very similar stone cell. And Bazgulub, or you can call him Baz, is a, is a goodly sized orc who is wearing full plate armor. And uh, he has, you know, the, the usual orcish green skin and, and um, a purple mohawk and several earrings. He's, he's actually rather handsome. Um, and uh, he will jump up and uh, grab a shield and battle axe, which are always nearby and run to the door yelling, what fiendish magic is this? All right. As you get up and run to the door, please make me a perception check. Good night. Yeah. First roll, first roll. That's a 12. 12. Terrible. You, um, you notice looking around that the stone slab that you were laying on, the, the, even the walls of this place have been uh, beaten, chipped, and the, the wash basin is cracked completely in half. And it looks like it's been, you know, mended with some sort of uh, concrete mixture, um, this place is trashed. Whoever was in here before you uh, went nuts as you pound on the doorway, yelling. Uh, let's go on to Johnny. Uh, I would say that Johnny wakes up, uh, try to grab what would be probably his pouch on his back, try to stumble over. God damn, I just. I think I'm a kidney stone. Oh! <laughs> the pain, the pain. But yeah, uh, Johnny is basically a kobold with uh, yellow witch uh, features, and if his clothes are still on, he will have a wolf-like headdress on his head. But yeah, he can—he probably has a severe back pain from lying on this cold stone slab. All right. So can I get, uh, outside of Seth, can I get everyone to make me either a perception or investigation check, whichever Ooh, you choose, excellent. whichever you okay. prefer. That is much better. Well. Meh. 22. Yeah. All right. Let's move. Where's my d and Beyond? There we go. Seven. All right, we will Best. start with the 22, Euphoria. Um, as you start examining the room, kind of trying to figure out where you, where you are, um, it is, A, you, you, it's, the rock itself is made of some sort of volcanic obsidian. Uh, I mean, it is, uh, it is not 
porous. It is very sharp and clean. Uh, it is also strong. And as you are kind of looking around, you see the sort of the, the glint of light as you see one of the shards is, is loose along the floor. And you investigate that and you find a, a small, probably like this big, a small one inch by one inch little hiding place. And you reach inside and you pull out a small scroll, like very small scroll. And you kind of peel it open in your hands. And it says, I've been here before, but when? We oh, survived. It's a Groundhog Day episode. Yes. We survived <laughs> by working together. That makes sense if it was me, but was it me? What? Um, and then who got the 19? Johnny. Oh, you did. Johnny. So, Johnny, so you, you sort of, uh, in your small stature, you're looking over this granite rock uh, that serves us as a bed. And, and on the other side of it, you kind of, you see carvings and you go over and you look and you actually see um, stick figures carved into the wall of two, what looks to be two adults and three children. One of the adults has crossed off, has a big like sort of X through it. And looking um, closer, you notice that the X had, was was carved later. You, it's hard hard to tell how much later, but it was carved at a different time. Below that, you actually see um, a solitary gnome figure, and below that, you see a half orc. Sort of, you know, these are very crudely carved, but you can kind of see, you know, they put tusks on it um, and two smaller figures next to it. Looks like the back of a suburban car with, you know, yeah. you have the three, the two at ats, and then the, you know, the yeah. small. <laughs> yeah. I actually passed one the other day on the freeway that had an, a walker and a tie fighter blowing up the stick figure family and it said the empire doesn't care. Nice. They don't. All right. Uh, let me take a quick look at the other rolls. They're all about the same. 12, yeah. 12, and 11. All right. 12, 12, and 11. Including a plus eight. Oh, yeah. Eight. I'm getting the feeling I know where this is going for me. Oof. So, um, uh, so Jackson. Um, your walls are not obsidian, um, but they are, it is a, as you get closer and kind of look around, it is what you thought were just plain gray stone walls is painted. And you, you kind of look closer and, and the entire room is painted to look like stone. And you kind of scrape some of it away um, and you know little pits of uh, strips of paint fall to the to the ground and you look on the underside and there are different colors mixed in with it it's it's impossible to see now but whatever was painted on the walls has been covered up okay. and and all of you at this moment you hear this um sound in your head. Welcome, monsters. My name, my name is Quintal, and I am the tender of monsters here at the Colosseum. Please join me at the end of the hallway. And each one of your doors opens up. 
Query, what is the definition of monster? For I am a construct. I don't think I smell. Do we hear that? <laughs> that is quite racist. Typically my race isn't called a monster. So uh, so you, uh, if anybody steps out of their doorway. I'm going to um, cautiously step out. Yeah, so you uh, see I'll, I'll do so. yeah. that you are in a long hallway with doors on either side and you notice a small kobold poking their head out. Well, I will, he might be a monster, but not me. I will walk out ready for a fight. That's what right. I, I'm gonna pull my hand axe out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Roger be here too. Huh? Roger be here too. Yeah. So do I. Hmm. I do not wake for I do not sleep. Weird. So how what did you get here then? You must remember. Uh, I also, I must, I can help you with that, you know. You can sleep better with those. So you just must do these things to the girl and you will have a small beer. A small beer, you will do a perfect sleep. Perfect sleep. I sleep just fine. I do I not have to see. Your back pain, you know, that freaking slump, stone slump, you know. I have severe back pain now. I think I passed the kidney stone right there. I do not have kidneys. Good for you, Mike. Good for you. <laughs> this right. plate, what is it we smash? I do not understand. We smash whoever's at the end of the hallway. Understood. Oh, did we all hear the yeah. voice? Yeah. Uh, they, yes. They said, you, they all said hear I'm the a monster. They said I'm a monster, but I don't think I smell. All the time to call most of us monsters when I see only two. Jackson, give me a perception check. All right. <laughs> I should determine yeah, who the smell. second monster is supposed to be. <laughs> I'm wondering who the first one is. Perception. <laughs> Again? Yeah, That's uh, how the day is going to go. Yeah. So, uh, so jo Johnny, Johnny Mumbo Jumbo does not smell. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is I who do not smell. I have no olfactory device in my face. At least as far I know, and uh, I think uh, you you might you have uh, some uh, corrosion under you uh, and those uh, irons you got there. Don't, nothing can smell too, you know. This is not corrosion. My creator had spare parts. Yeah, I see that. Uh, ha, ha. Very funny of you guys, you know. I am not funny. My humor circuit is not working. But you are still cracking jokes on the rest, Mike. Let's not uh, delay this any longer. Let's head down the hall. Yeah, I agree. Let's move on. Who are you, who are you very uh, strange people? Yeah. <laughs> You're one uh, to talk, I'm tall like one. Said, thank you. I have you know thanks to my provision, so let's go. Yeah, so okay, so 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 to paint this scene, you have this <laughs> this kobold wearing uh, uh, furs and some sort of animal hides running down the hallway, followed by a full orc, a robot with a stylish purple hat on an yeah. anti angle, a gnome, and a tiefling. And a tiefling. A red tiefling. <laughs> and a red tiefling walking you, down this hallway. You can see all of the character sheets with pictures if you look at the D&D &D and beyond interface. That is and correct. that's neat. <laughs> I should upload the picture. Huh? I did that's put it on there. That's not everything. You can also pick on those icons and look at our character sheets in all full glory. <laughs> in the full glory. So you make your way down to... Uh, down to the end of this hallway uh, where a door is open and you enter and you look inside and there are uh, a number of small benches that are sit 
uh, all of them sort of facing a back wall. And on that back wall is a drow male. And he goes, oh, welcome. My name is Patches. Was well. <laughs> Cilantro turns and looks, are we still supposed to destroy at the end of the hall? Uh, uh, no. Let's find uh, out. <laughs> I pull out both my weapons, a hand axe and a oh. mace. I, I do like the joking like boxing stance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. I, I, I am uh, just as much of a prisoner here as you are. Uh, I uh, am, am here to uh, give you uh, the initiation uh, or the, uh, uh, the other word. Uh, the one, you know, the one that says uh, uh, what you're supposed to do. Oh. Preparation. Preparation. Oh. Uh, Good yes. Uh, so uh, the uh, the Duchess uh, Yazrao, um, she uh, requested you individuals uh, join us in a bit of sport. Sports. Uh, oh, hi! I hate sports. Very patient die from that, you know. I don't know this Duchess. How did she? Either do I. I. My creator knew a duchess, but she ate him. I keep here around this battleship, but I don't know what that is, what, what that means, you know. Right. Uh, she, uh, well, um, she rules this plane uh, that we are on currently. Are we flying? That would be interesting. I suppose, in a sense, yes, we're flying, uh, in the sense that this plane is basically a Coliseum. Does it involve mushrooms? If you do, you want mushrooms? Oh, uh, I, I eat mushrooms if I want to fly you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he snaps his fingers, and mushrooms appear. Ooh, sort those of are my favorite. <laughs> ah, this is good technique. My master always asked for garlic from different regions. What is plain garlic called? Garlic. Garlic? Apparently, I am named after garlic from a place called Peru. Ah. Those buns are spicy. Oh. And, uh, uh, garlic bulbs appear on, on the ground next to you. Not cilantro, though. This will not make good cheesecake. What is cheesecake? Cheesecake is my name. My master, who was known as your good friend, Dave Jackson, Elias, always liked cheesecake. Oh, it's almost like an illness for me. Well, um, anyway, uh, uh, you, as well as the other monsters, are... Uh, monsters? Why do you keep calling us that? Uh, uh, the Duchess uh, requires requires it. It's 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 a way to uh, make sure that nobody gets too attached. Too attached. <laughs> and be very. That's what I call everyone who comes to me patient, so I don't have to you know abide by rules. My parts are attached. Yes. If this Duchess wants monsters, I can show her what a monster is like. Ah, that is the spirit. Mm. That I slay monsters. Spirit. I am not one. Well. I just cure people. Not always, but I cure people. Did he say cure or kill? That's what I was wondering. Both? Well, if someone wants to cure that, I just kill them. Because there is no way to cure that, you know. You are prisoner also. Looking at the drow. Looking at the drow. Uh, 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 well, yes. In, in a sense. Are you in need of rescuing? 
Hmm. Not at the moment. Maybe next time. I want to come over it and sniff it as he has any potential illness on him. Okay. Uh, you're going to check for illnesses or, or? Yeah. I would like to roll an insight on him. All right. Yes, especially when he said maybe next time. I'd also like I'm to... not going to bother rolling insight. <laughs> I am going to use my divine sense. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, apparently I need to do all the rolls tonight. Because... <laughs> <laughs> all right, what, uh, what were, uh, that was an insight check? Yeah. Uh, Fine, why not? So, so yeah, so, so you are watching this guy and and you can tell right away that something's not right um he do, uh, he doesn't need rescuing um but he but the thought of leaving uh, did did seem to put an emotion on his face that you kind of thought it's like oh i never i've never thought um okay maybe <laughs> so that's that's what you got out um why did i get off that with a 17 uh was it also insight yeah um so uh not as much so you got that um he was um that he didn't need rescuing yeah, I was specifically going for like when he said next time, trying mm -hmm. to met to. It seemed like he was familiar with us. Like maybe we've done this dance before. Um, not specifically you. Um, so, um, you noticed the note that you found was not in your handwriting. Mm -hmm. um, so it it was definitely somebody else who had been here multiple times. Okay. All right. And, and he says, well, uh, so the rules are quite simple. Um, uh, we, have, we have summoned you, and we have also summoned three others. Are they in need of rescuing? Who, in a sense, uh, whoever survives... Uh, will not need rescuing because they will be sent home. So it will be the three versus us five? Uh, uh, I, I, maybe I misspoke. Uh, the last one standing will be sent home. Oh, so it is a free for all. So um, so we I will, are to rescue all others by killing them. That could certainly be an option. Um, or we can only Euphoria, rescue ourselves. I will I will say that your uh, your inside of twenty, twenty-two, um, when he said the last man standing uh, will be set free, it's a little shaky there. You don't you don't quite believe him. I was using uh, okay. my divine sense to uh, uh, know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. Uh, okay. Uh, it, d <laughs> that's funny. Um, does a tiefling give off fiendish? I think that's up to the DM. Like maybe I, a yeah. fiendish aura. So I think so you get a little fiendish aura off of uh, euphoria. You also even though there is a lot of stone around you, um, you get an overwhelming sense of fiends, like thousands of them nearby. Some kind of hell here. My enemies are all around us. Oh, uh, Are yes. we enemies now? What enemies would that be? All fiends are my enemies. Fiends. Hmm. Fiend and friend is one letter apart in common. 
He's not wrong, though. Why do you call me a uh, he? Oh, it's... I just know. I just uh, imagine from your voice that you will be a man, but if you want to prefer a different gender, that's okay. I am unable to reproduce or have gender. But uh, do you have a personality or something like that? I am cilantro. Okay, how should I refer to you then? Cilantro. Okay, and in third person is just cilantro. The I like start flashing, flashing. <laughs> I am only one person. Okay, so if I refer to you not directly, I just I just should call you cilantro. My creator never gave me directives on this sense. Oh. We should work on that, buddy. Uh, by the way, did my Ministry of Ten pick up anything? Um, whether the robot has genitals? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, on the job guy, if he has uh, illness. <laughs> Not on, I, don't want, uh, I don't want to buy any robot balls for you. <laughs> uh, it, it looks like a metal construct. Huh. Okay, I'm not asking about I'm not asking about the cilantro. I'm not asking about the drow. <laughs> uh, he uh, no, he he does not seem to have any any illnesses. Uh, you you notice he is he is not in armor. Uh, you don't see any bruising or cuts or scars or anything like that. Hmm. Seems very normal. And and he says, well, uh, I have other uh, monsters to attend to. Uh, uh, when when you are ready, uh, you can return to your rooms. Tell us where to find this Duchess. Uh, and uh, we, we will, you will meet the Duchess very, very momentarily. Good. I certainly hope so. Now back still hurts, you know. I still swear I could pass the kidneys right here, right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, She's no weapons for now and head back to the room. All right. Arabo. So he just disappears out of there. You guys head back into your rooms, and as you enter them, um, the first thing you notice is something feels something feels just odd about the way back. I mean, you went the exact same way and you went to the same room, but it felt like you you went further or in a different sort of path, and you enter each of the same rooms that you came from. And on the other side is a metal gate, uh, basically a jail cell, a portcullis on the other side. And as you enter the room, the door slams behind you. And you walk closer and you look through this portcullis and you see and hear a massive crowd. Um, uh, um, Thousgalub, immediately you hone in on the fiendish language and looking out, you see in this, there, there is an arena of blue and in the stands everywhere are different devils. You see spine devils and barb devils, ice devils all around. And uh, you all look out into this arena and from across the way, you see um, some of the others that you, uh, that you just met. In impossible how they would be here from coming out of the hallway that you were in. Some so sort of magic. So we're not in the same room. We're all in individual rooms? You are all in individual rooms. Okay facing the inside of this arena. And in fact, I will, dun, I will dun, bring dun. it up on the map. Oh. Ooh. Very nice, very, very nice. Yeah. Need to see. Very niche, I would say. It there is a, are. hopefully we can, uh, we won't be so spread out through this whole thing. <laughs> 
Or maybe you won't. You know. <laughs> there are rocks down there that do not look like part of the map. This make this makes the player uh dubious. They're not pit traps. Definitely. Did I say they might be yeah. some living rock? So as as you look out into this arena, uh, all of you look towards the top and up here on this uh, uh, raised platform sitting on top is this ebony skinned, Season. long flowing white hair drow. And she is on a big throne. No, uh, she is a normal sized woman. Oh, Duchess. I, yes. And then you went ebony, and then ebony skin. So I was thinking we've got to be putting Ezra stuff in here. <laughs> uh, it is a, that is a female drow. There are two um, guards next to her, also drow. And just she calmly says, "Oh, some of the monsters have arrived already. Please join us in the arena." And the doors rise up in front of you. And the crowd roars in anticipation. Uh, and some of them howl in disgust at you. Yes, by all means, join us in the arena. Or are you <laughs> a coward? Oh. Uh, so and and you you hear that your voice sort of carries, um, and the crowd is like ooh, and it is fine. You are here for my enjoyment, and well, I would enjoy to see what happens when you meet two brothers who have come from the far north. As a gate opens up, and on either side. Two uh, okay. uh, everybody everybody give me an intelligence check. Just straight intelligence? Yeah. Uh or his history. <laughs> Same difference. for <laughs> me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hitting me. Well, there we go. All Ooh. right. Uh beautiful looking creatures. Yeah, uh, these are freaky looking creatures and you have no idea what they are. Um, Oof. They look like my grandma. I thought they mine was have, bad. Uh, they do have a sort of, let me just see what I can, I can read up real quick here. So they do have like a bluish uh, skin. Um, are they, funny, they don't look bluish. Uh, gray, that, blue, fur on them. Okay, um, that was a deep cut. Us. I didn't fully expect people to get that one. <laughs> it's out your Arctic blue, so just so you know. Yes. Oh, wow. I totally can roll some of this stuff with the Beyond 20 app. So, uh, before we do anything, I think we should roll some mission Ooh. to start combat. Um, I can't actually select my portrait. All right. Let me... Why is that even there? Well, because I have to be able to select the portrait to roll initiative to show um, up on the tracker. Interesting. Right, so cl I... right click on the portrait yeah. and you can do controlled by. Yep. So let me just make sure. I need to zoom in to see who everyone is. I mean, the red one is clearly Euphoria. And then there's that awesome purple hat above. We seem to be missing somebody. Yeah, me. <laughs> I'm not there. We're missing our wolfy friend. Actually, it's Cobalt, you know. This is my friend. I call him Tangi. Oh, I was, think he uh, was before I had to kill him. Yes, I mean, is, you know. Friend or fiend. Are one letter apart. This was a friend. He had diabetes. I had to put him down. Seth, you can control your character, right? Yes. All right. 
Go to my uploads. Who am I missing? Yoni. There we go. Oh. That's cool. There. All right, let me make sure that let's put you over here though. All right. Is it, everyone have control now? I believe so. Yes. All right. Yes, I do. All right. You said roll initiative now? Oh, yes. I'll get there eventually. Wow, I'm All getting right. reliably hey. mediocre rolls. As am I. Well, uh, I rolled some. Give me the sweet average. Did you bring up the initiative tracker? Or, yeah, doesn't matter. I'm in D and D Beyond. Oh, All right. Okay. So, uh, cilantro. What was your initiative? Fifteen. Fifteen. All right, Johnny. What is a five? Euphoria. Sorry, what was that? You, I cannot hear you. You are too quiet. 21? 21. 21. There we go. All right, Jackson. Six. And Baz. Five. Five, wow, all right. We are all dead. So, um, Euphoria, you are up first, and you see these two large creatures step out from their own cages, and they <laughs> sniff, and they look at each other, and then they look out at all of you, and they are clearly menacing. They seem somewhat intelligent. Define intelligent in this group. Uh, I mean, uh, you think so? I mean, you, they're they're not animals. You can tell that they're. They have a thought once in a while. Okay. Yeah. What was the range on this? Oh, there you go. Okay. Mm. Why? So, there we go. I had to actually cut that in so everyone else could see. I oh, yeah, that would have... be helpful. Yes. What? And give me one moment. I'm just going to make sure things are plugged in. <laughs> uh -oh. <clears throat> Do we have battle music or can we just not hear it? Uh, well, we don't currently, but we should. And I'll figure out why we don't have battle music. Call James or Aaron. The do you guys? Do you guys hear it? No. Oh wait. Yep. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's musical. All right. We open up with. Here we go. Tosh the city's laughter. On this one. 
Let me quick do a little bit of audio settings here. <laughs> It seems loud for me now. A little bit. A little bit. Ooh. Oh my. What is it? Good? I know. It's like it's auto canceling everything. <laughs> Technology. Well, if we're getting into this. Oh yeah. It's your time. I don't know. I think uh, I think the audience will hear it, but I'm gonna mute it. Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's what the <laughs> zoom is. I'm gonna appear. Yes. I need a loop loop and loop and loop loop. Loop. <laughs> I'll have to remember to uh, change it. Nice. All right. Yeah, right. half said still musicing. Exactly. Cool. All right. So, uh, you moved up there, and you're doing Tasha's hideous laughter. Yep, that one. All right. Oh, is I'm it okay. a is it a save? Wisdom. Save. It is a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, that's zero. <laughs> It's a big five zero. Note to self: Wisdom <laughs> save, good. Nice. Note to self: Next time, big wisdom save based stuff. Yep. So yeah, so this one. Uh, oh, it's prone, pretty... laughing hysterically. Oh, I have wisdom based stuff. Okay, never mind then. What is there a good one for laughing? Not really. Oh. Yeah. Sure. So uh, yeah, so yeah. so that one rolls over. Is like, <laughs> what is laughter? <laughs> what is Hyena this? Laughter. What is this noise? Is confusing. <laughs> Don't target the one that's making the weird noise. It's such a joyous if you want to live. Okay. All right, uh, cilantro, you are up. So. I hear her say that and go, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just checking distances here. 90. The big arena. Yeah. Okay. I am going to move to there. And then looking at the one that's, does that get me? How close does that get me? Hold on. I have to figure this, if I can reach that one. Score. Okay. While I'm within range of this one, I'll look at the big one and go, congratulations. You are being rescued. Do, please do not resist. And then his arm well, just sort of dial. Open up, opens up in metal parts and a uh, blast of cold energy shoots out of it. Uh, it's a human cannon. Hmm. Well, it's worth a shot first. And I'm going to shoot a ray of frost at it. All right, uh, and you, with a 22, this ray of frost shoots out and hits square in the chest on this thing. And he just smiles and looks at you. It appearing to have no effect. Should have taken <laughs> Firebolt. Should have taken Firebolt, but I was trying to be different and do something interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. I'm pretty sure we gave him Dickless. Okay, so I'll go. Hmm. Oh, it resisted. And then, as though Cilantro doesn't even realize it, a part of its shoulder just sort of like pops out and springs these little tiny legs. And then an 
a um, what's it called? <laughs> Dang it! An eldritch cannon sort of goes wee and <laughs> lands on the ground next to him. And can I have a little icon of some sort to control, maybe, for my eldritch cannon? All right, it's a spider cannon. Uh, yeah, you can have a little. You can have a little Remy. Do <laughs> uh, I, can, uh, I can have a little Remy. I can't move it though. I can't control it yet. You should be able to now. Nobody can. Nobody can yep, control it. Remy. I will throw it out there. Uh, so okay. as uh, I will throw it out. Yeah. Sorry. Well, it has to start five feet from me. Gotcha. I would not put it there. Uh, so as me, as you move <laughs> into that space next to, um, next to that rock. Um, you did Aww. step on a pressure plate and a <laughs> bout of fire launched up at you. Okay. Uh-huh. With well. the, the fire grate treacherous trap. Oh, good. It's um, a trap! It's a trap! Uh, make a DC dexterity check. A DC dexterity? I'll make a dexterity check. I don't want to tell you the DC. 20. 20. Okay, so you're going to take half of this damage as this fire rolls up you. So half of you. That's. A... Oof. So you noticed, um, you noticed that was as you moved into that space, um, you suddenly kind of look around and you see arcane markings all the way around. Okay. So, hmm, I am on fire. That's so, right. So I'll go ahead and throw my Remy away from it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and go to there, 15 feet away. And Remy fires a... Um, so is that all, all a bonus action? Yep. As a bonus action, I can create my Eldritch Cannon. And then um, basically as a bonus action, I can make it move up to 15 feet and fire. Okay. And it fires a Force Ballista, which is, where is it? It's a ranged spell attack within 120 feet. All right. I'm not sure if it gives me an option. Nope, that was the damage if it hits. But a ranged spell attack. Where is it? There we go. Is 29 to hit. <laughs> oh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nat 20, actually. <laughs> so roll another go, two Remy. Feet. Another yeah. thanks, Remy. Just roll another two d eight. Another two d eight. So twenty seven force damage. Twenty seven points of damage. Nice. Very very nice. Well, since my ray of frost is useless, that's hot. I have let Bo know he's good luck. <laughs> He ain't walking no more. All right. Um, no, oh, good. wait a second. And if the target is a creature, it is pushed up to five feet away from the cannon. I don't know if, right. that, if that matters, if it's up against the wall. Uh, yeah, he's up against the wall. He, okay. he slides a little bit. Okay. Oh. All right. I believe that puts this guy... Um, so does he get to make a save on his turn for the hideous laughter? Yes. At the oh. end of each, at his end of his turn, so he loses his turn regardless. But yeah. End of his turn. <laughs> All right. Nineteen. <gasps> well, he's so he. <laughs> so he stops laughing and just kind of looks around, unable to do anything else this round. Um, this guy, though, 
is. He's got a moon. Mm. How does it look, the one that got remied? Uh, angry. It looks very angry. <laughs> remied. Is that what we call critical hits now? You got remied, bro. I mean, something small and up and upset that did a surprising amount of damage. I just yeah. imagine, like, while being uh, annoying. I just imagine that it's kind of like Jin's face each other. That's the Remy stand. <laughs> but this time they don't make any like your cannon is just there in its bathrobe <laughs> how about uh, a little spider cannon wearing a bathrobe and a, and a hat and a, and a bio hat yeah oh dear and one of the legs spins around it itself mm. it's, it's not a it? creature is it <laughs> I'm a, I'm no like, it is not a creature <laughs> It does uh-huh. have AC and hit points, but it's not a creature. It would escape what we call a living weapon. Um, so, yeah, the so- cannon is a magical object. And okay. it's got AC and hit points. All ability scores are tens. Um, on each of its turns, I can take a bonus action and cause it to activate if I'm within 60 feet of it and make it move up to 15 feet. But it's a magical object. So it runs up to you. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, it can't reach you. However, um, as it as it approaches, as it gets into ten feet of you, um, you feel this bitter cold come over you, and that's it. Okay. Uh, and that is both of their, there's, that's it. That's all they can do. That's right so, off the bat. You guys are doing a lot. And I like this so far. Oh, so on initiative seven, Uh-oh. you hear this, the ma- a massive gate underneath um, the drow uh, duchess is sitting there. A huge lumbering, <laughs> ugly, uh, white fur covered yeti. What is Grandpa doing here? Comes out and is like, <laughs> I think he's hungry. And it looks, uh, what is it? What, uh, what is it going to do? It, it's not going to see that. It's gonna see this troll in front of it, and it's gonna attack the troll. Scooby snake. Would it? Would it? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna roll because I'm not gonna do anything. I mean, it is the the closest thing. It is the closest thing. One. And it's the juiciest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there's nothing with meat anywhere near it. Yeah. Not only. Dust, stone, and metal. <clears throat> Let me see this. Open link in a new tab. There's just not enough tabs. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> never enough tabs. Fiona makes fun of me for having too many windows open at a time when I run the game, and I'm like, nope, not enough. I need, I need a fourth monitor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, so it is actually it's going to claw this thing in front of it twice. Yes. Jeez. All right. <laughs> it hits both times. All right. Someone is going to enjoy the happy meal. <laughs> So, oh, it's a, uh, so it does 26 points of damage to this thing. And then you also see a bit of cold frost doesn't do anything to it. However, it does one more thing. It looks at you, Cilantro, because you are the closest other thing. <laughs> And it buries its 
cold eyes into you. Make a constitution saving throw. 16. 16 does not save. Great. As this cold damage goes over you for 17 points of damage, that is so terrible. Are you kidding me? Uh, however, minus how much? Uh, 17 points of damage. And you are paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. Great. Unless you are immune to paralyze as a nope. Warforged. And that's that, that is that is. Uh, Fades music out, and we go to a little bit of uh, fantasy epic battle music. Healer. Uh, so, yeah, so you're paralyzed. Uh, your hit, he did hit the ice troll in front of it uh, because they are, they did not make insight checks on me. <laughs> the last person to survive gets to go home. All right, let's see who's up next is Jackson. All right, I will. It's gonna be a real short session for me. <laughs> so he's been fucking annoying, go. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna move there, and then I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on the big guy. All right. I may have calculated this uh, taking in a lot more bits than we have, so you know we'll see. We'll see what happens. Bits, please. Uh, what what uh, what I can do? Mm, we could have put a d6 on that. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, that that would have been great. Well, it would have been quite helpful. Uh, do you want to put a d6 on that? That's 16. Yeah. Yes. Actively. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, we'll put a D6 on that. A two? Two is exactly what you needed. Yes! <laughs> so do I get 17 hit points back? Or? You get 17 hit points back and you are not paralyzed. Yes! There you go. Good. I didn't have anything to help with the paralyzed. I was like, <laughs> hey, viewers back there, nothing has happened, you know? <laughs> oh. Nothing to see here. Okay, so I'm going to move here, cast Hunter's Mark on the big guy, and then I'm going to pull out my short bow and fire. All right. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Awesome. Let me roll some damage for you. Did I not have Firebolt? This sucks. That's going to be four damage with an additional uh, because the Hunter's Mark, when I cast it, automatically rolled the damage for it. So it's going to be four from the bow and four from Hunter's Mark. All right. What is the piercing and slashing? I'm not sure what that means. I believe that's like a type of uh, damage, but they do not separate the... I think it's a plus five. So four plus five, nine points of damage. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And that's unfortunately all I can do. All right. So yeah. So you you hit it, and it and it's like and it roars. Doesn't like. Is this a technically a? <clears throat> Sorry, just double checking something. It is a monstrosity. It's a monstrosity? Okay. It's a monstrosity. Mm. Okay, that's fine. We can move on. Um, And uh, I'll say you know the other ones are giants. Okay. If that changes anything. Uh, Not at the moment, but it will. All right. All right. Next up is Boz. 
They ran away from you, I think. It did run away from me. <laughs> here and then I'm gonna dash and go another 30 feet over here and uh, that's it I think all right I am going to uh, do a little bit of dealing right now because I feel like it we'll start with <laughs> oh this is good so uh Euphoria, you already have a, a card. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give everyone else a card to start with as well. Three, four, deal. So, oh, did it do a second one? No, I had oh. one. It said I had one, but I didn't actually have one. So now I have one. No, yeah, it could have no, been. No, that's, the, that's the Joker card. So uh, if you guys want to uh, look at those and then you can use those. Ooh. As fit. I like that a lot. Yes. Oh, Sh should dear. we tell people what we have now or wait until we use them? I, don't uh, care to, I actually want to tell uh, someone. <laughs> I feel like we should bring in all these bits that people just gave us. Oh, did they just give us bits? Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, oh yes, God. thank you. Hand throw, hand throw I mean, if I to the wind. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. So a pan a panther with two thousand bits. That is four inspiration to the players. Ooh, ooh. Thank you, thank you. A panther and winter nightingale, winter nightingale. <laughs> uh, winter nightingale. Yes, with five hundred bits. Birthday bits. I'm gonna just gonna assume those are for the players. I specify it goes to us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate that. Uh, we are those of you joining us. We we are gonna do this more often. This is the Five E Fight Club. Will be community based. And I think I think what I want to do is actually have a a, a player as well from. And chaos. So mix up the DMs and have a player so that, yeah. Sweet. It's a lot more fun. All right. So thank you for those bits. Thank you for uh, looking at those. I have too many tabs open. I <laughs> checked <laughs> enough tabs. Yeah. Yes. It's really disconcerting to watch myself do the movements like 20 seconds later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually have it on uh, a short delay. So basically, it's like uh, watching myself in a slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, by yeah. the way, Thomas, uh, Winter Nightingale gave you a spray bottle for, for the wise. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty mode. Yes. <laughs> there. Nice. Thank you, Winter Nightingale. Yes, thank for you. saving us. You're, you're a subscriber now. <laughs> That's what you are. I've been remembered. <laughs> <sighs> we who are about to get squished salute you. <laughs> let's see. Let's Hopefully see what you remember yeah. us. At least for a week. Yeah, we've got to do the the bows one. Does it matter which side? I don't think it mattered which side know. with the the bow. Yeah. The, with the what? I think it's left. The left hand? Yeah, I think I think it was specifically the left hand because otherwise yeah. it, it, it I, was a different country. Well, my unless you're eyes. unless you're Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, does this also work? <laughs> Our own personal. <laughs> yes. Are you are you close enough to do anything, Boz? Oh, am I up again? Uh, no, this is still the first time. <laughs> Oh no no I'm I, I okay you, you I had double to dash to get this close so all right Johnny Mumbo Jumbo I'm sorry Mum oh. Jumbo Johnny Mum Jumbo goes in straight into the auction with some charming spells you have prepared so first thing first I need to move also no 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 uh oh about it. no you saw me go next to the rocks I still have to try it you know well well. 
It's well, nice knowing you, Cobalt. It's gonna happen anyway. A little Cobalt may fall. There goes the healer. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, as you get close to this, a poison gasp spreads out in uh, in every direction around that. Damn it, why oh, why could I have gotten that one? On the uh, give me a Constitution saving throw, please. Good. I need to be in there. for inspiration, please. Ah, uh, that's two. Yeah. Uh, uh, unless anybody has a card. Um. Yeah, my card won't help with that. Mine either. So I guess that's two inspiration. Yeah, know, we'll do like three. Three. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have three. it be two. We'll have it be two. Okay. 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 Yeah. Two inspiration so, for a full reroll. Full, full reroll. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How many did we have? We had, well, we had eight. eight. Yeah. So now we're back to you six. have six current. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, I also want to ask. Uh. Is just straight poison? Nothing disease related. Correct. Just poison. Okay. That's that's what it. Did that go there? I don't think so. Let's try it again. Okay, do it again. Yeah. Oh, that was a, with a plus oh. one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, brutal. It's not an Amy. It Ooh. is not. 21. 66. Oh. Is the healer oh. down? Hold on. Oh, you guys, just take the, the first three. Let's do 12 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> Actually, you do remember we're level five, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, yes. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, what I want to do? I'm going past my kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Can, you guys can go into D and D Beyond. I'm gonna change things on. Um, go in and max out your starting. Um, so basically it would be whatever your max so if you go home in the home section and then hit point type go to manual I think that you can change it I'm changing it on a couple of you right now so um, Swantra I just changed yours yeah, I, okay, I, cool, have, I have manual on mine yeah so, so set it to manual and then set it to uh, max whatever your hit die is yeah. You uh, said you got mine already. Uh, I just a oh, lot. I just changed it. So you need to go in and change the actual hit points. Yeah. Okay. So I go for total possible HP, right? Yes. Okay. I'm seven better for my maximum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot better. Your, I'm trying to figure out where that is. I see hit point type manual or fixed. Yeah. Uh, and you then, yeah, then, it's... then you go to class, and then you oh, it's in go class. to manage HP. Got it. Yeah, yeah I was kind of looking over your stuff. I was like, wait, 35 hit points. I'll go through to 55. So we're getting our total possible HP? Correct, yes. Okay. And you tapping into the override HP. Okay. Cool. Also, oh, that was a um, trap. perilous harm trap. So, so of the random traps, there are different levels within the levels. That was the worst one. Oh, okay. Because there's enough. setbacks. There are that was perilous, and then uh, actually that's not. It. There's deadly, deadly perilous, and setback. I don't think anyone else would go by a rock, so I think we're good. <laughs> or no. <Yeah>. Maybe not. <sighs> Unless we have so to. I still take uh, the 21? Uh, no, 12. 12. 12. 12. Okay. 12. Damage. Okay. Uh, anything else with that? Any conditions or just uh, damage? Um, uh, just poison damage. You're not poisoned okay. or anything like that. <laughs> I think I got poison. Oh. <laughs> uh, very well then. So I'm now here, and there we go. Uh, That's better. <clears throat> did, did, did that cost my action everything? 
because I, I just uh, uh, no no it doesn't cost you your action so you can still do whatever you're gonna yeah, do yeah yeah because I wanted to ask about uh, uh, casting two spells uh, so I want to cast one spell that is a bonus action and then cast a uh, cantrip as the main action can I do that uh yes okay. yeah as long as so, one of them is a cantrip yeah the main action would be a cantrip. So I need to okay. check uh, that this is the range. So I will target the big guy with my hearts. Okay. And my main action would be uh, uh, Door the Dead on the big guy. All the Dead. Is that a, that's a wisdom save? That's a wisdom save. Against uh, 13. That well, it just hit 13. Oh, the bastard. Yes. Yeah. It does and then what? What was what was the bonus action? <clears throat> the bonus action was uh, hex. So basically, if I uh, deal damage, it would deal additional damage on top of that. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, but, well, but it says here when we did with the attack. Does it count if it use my uh, stuff for like uh, uh, if it uh, requires a save? Does it also count as an, as an attack? Uh, I, if it says it, it requires an attack, that's and not. When a you hit it with an attack. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's. I, I think the attack action. Uh, yeah, because I think it has to be an attack, not a save type of yeah, damage. Very well done. Okay. But still, it's hoxed until after my constitution ends. Yeah, it would say uh, like a melee attack or a ranged attack or a spell attack. I don't think that a spell that requires a save would count with that. What about that? Okay. So, uh, Euphoria, you are up. How many hit points do you currently have? 50. 50. Okay. Uh, Keeping track so you can kill us faster. <laughs> No, it doesn't. It doesn't come over here. So, which I guess is is a good thing. All right, you are up. All right. <sighs> oh, bourbon up the nose is not a pleasant feeling. <coughs> I bet. Yeah. I have an element for that, you know. <laughs> of course you do. I have element for everything. Even you're supposed to drink it. Yeah, then I laughed. How are we counting diagonals? Uh, diagonals five feet. If you just yeah. if you use the the line, it'll do that automatically. Cool. Yeah. So they're they're like five feet. Yeah. Okay. So right um, there, I'm gonna drop a shatter. Ooh, all right. That's a couple of saves, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately it's con. But <laughs> so the Yeti with a natural twenty. Oh Yeah. And the other one's a twenty for the ice stroll. Still take half damage. And that's Force damage. Thunder, Thunder, I think. Yeah. Thunder. All right. Let's see the damage. Speed seven. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Was that uh? Set. Uh, come back. Yeah, set. Uh oh. That's a bummer. So this will be this will be kinda interesting, so I'm gonna I guess I'll skip rid of that. Uh, you know what I might do?
Wow, since so. Seth did not hear. Yeah, I, did, I was going to ask, did we lose Seth? Yeah, yep. he dropped off. That's a bummer. What I might do is just hide everything. I still want sound, though. <laughs> Maybe. Get rid of the tabs. <laughs> uh, it's that time of year again. <laughs> All right. So, well, uh, well, he's back. We just have the map up. All right. Oh, Sorry. Back. Eu Euphoria, you are ready to go. Yeah. They oh, made you went, they made their saves. How much damage did we take? Well, we round, we oh. round up on damage. Would it be eight? Uh, I think it's down. Yeah, it's down. So seven oh. points of damage each. Does some damage. All right. Cilantro, you are up. Okay, so did I notice, did the trap go off when I stopped moving or when I stepped next to So, uh, So I will say uh, once one of the squares is triggered, there are they're sort of all triggered and inert. So the trigger was each one of them, but now it's the trap is gone. Now the trap is gone. So basically to meta this, um, if I were to step, whoops. So like if I were to go right next to it on my way somewhere else, would it go off again? It would not, no. Okay, cool. So Cilantro looks at this troll and goes, you are resisting please do not resist i am rescuing you and casts um poison spray at the one right in front of me all right <clears throat> is that a to hit uh no i put in the ch i rolled it it's a dc 16 con save all right Oh, with the plus six, that is a mist on the con save. So it takes, um, so it's 2d, is that? Yeah, so it's 2d12 is the two plus 10, but we, because Cilantro's um, an artificer, it has a, I have an arcane firearm, which if I'm using it as my focus, deals an extra 1d8 of the same damage. All right. So that is so, 16 total. Fine. So that's 16 total. Okay. Now I'm going to skedaddle. Uh, can I walk on the rocks or no? Uh, no, you can't. Okay. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then my Remy cannon. <laughs> is going to attack the same one that I've been damaging. All right. Sounds good. With a spell attack for 27. Or a 27 attack roll. Yeah, that, that will hit. Cool. <laughs> and then... God, why is this on so many different tabs within D and D Beyond? Uh, I, can't wait, I can't wait until we get back in person. Although these these we're going to keep doing uh, awesome. uh, remote. This just tells me I need to optimize it and put it all in one place. Two D eight. So thirteen damage from the ballista. All right, thirteen damage. Okay, I mean this thing's starting to look. This thing actually is looking pretty bloody. Pretty bloody. And then my Remy cannon will kind of take one of its little hands and tip its 
hat, <laughs> use another one to close the bathrobe, and go 15 feet backwards. Five, Five, ten, doing the motion. 15. <laughs> nice. To that slight swagger, goes back. Okay. <laughs> Scotty like swagger. Well, I mean, one of its feathers is singed, and the bathrobe gives this nice little because it's silk on on the metal legs. Very nice. All right, so then uh, the troll uh, gets up, um, and it is going to do. Actually, which, which one's going? This? Uh, I... Oh, that one. Well. No, don't look at me. There's supposed to be a war <laughs> forged in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Not it, this, this thing attacked its brother, so it is going in. <laughs> it's going in hard. Everything attacks its brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the only thing he can reach and attack. So. Uh, so this is going to be fun. This is going to be that, that, and that. Oh my gosh. So a nine on its bite, a nine on its claw, and a 25 on its claw. So it does eight points of slashing. So it's a lefty. Yeah, exactly. So. And, yeah, and it's it's cold. Oh, it does need to make a uh, constitution saving throw, though. No, I'm looking at the wrong one. Dead boy, I have nothing against lefties. I was just trying to make sense of it. Here we go. Oh, uh, barely made it. So what, it takes eight slashing damage. Which isn't a lot. We might as well just stand back and let them kill each other. <laughs> Yes. All right. Then the next one, um, who's close to it? Who's close to what? The orc. Uh, <laughs> let me look at this. So, oh, is this kind of close? And... Yeah, so, so both uh, both Boz and uh, Euphoria, you notice the wounds on, on this thing heal up just a little bit. Of course. Bold. One second. I'm pretty sure I can do intelligence checks on beasts and have advantage on that. It's a giant. Uh, the trolls are... Or it's giant beasts is what I can do it on. Okay, yeah, it is a giant. I would like to do an intelligence check just uh, for information on it. Alright. And I have advantage. There's also a card in here that... Uh... Uh, basically, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember reading about this thing. <laughs> nice. It's not the best, but... <clears throat> so, so 14, um, yeah, I'll say this. You, you, um, you've read about this, and you know that if, if it is hit with fire or acid, it won't regenerate. Otherwise, it regenerates every turn at the start of every turn on hearing this i call that out hit it with acid or fire otherwise it'll just heal Almost why was i trying to be fancy and took ray of frost Ooh. and i'm going to flip an inspiration coin um <laughs> uh, actually I poison and necrotic so there's three people in a range of this. So it'll be um, five and six is Boz. One, two is the first troll next to it. Actually, I totally did that wrong. What did I roll? I rolled a two. You said that was the troll next to it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or the Eddie. Uh, no, 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 so the the person that uh, I want I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this one more time, players or Yeti. The D20 is the Yeti. All right, so it's gonna stupid fight the Yeti. 
as I said, let's just stand back and let them kill each other. Then we kill the winner. So hits with a bite, so seven. Ooh, and hits with a claw. So that is 23 points of damage to the Yeti. And the Yeti's got to make a save. I feel like they should stop fighting each other. Nope. <laughs> nope. That, this is fine. That, that's good. I'm sure you've got more up your sleeve. This is fine. <laughs> my The devs at my work take that that mean far too seriously. <laughs> the problem is I'm QA, so then it gets to me and I go, no, this isn't fine. <laughs> oh, all right. It has disadvantage, so the abomin abominable Yeti has disadvantage on its attack rolls for the next round. Sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I totally forgot. I'm supposed to choose my ability with the hex. I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah. You said so, extra damage, I thought. Yeah, extra attack. damage, and also choose one ability when you cast the spell. The target has this ability, um, ability choose with the choose one ability. I don't know if it's a madras, but I would, I would say strike either way. I totally forgot, sorry. <laughs> so, what, uh, so, say it again, what is it? It's got disadvantage on what checks? A disadvantage on strength uh, ability checks. Okay. Just ability checks. Ooh. All right. All right, and then the Yeti is attacking this guy that uh, with disadvantage. That's stupid. Yeti. You know what? So, oh, you can get them both. He's going to uh, breath weapon. <laughs> so. This huge yeti yet lets out this roar, and it's cold, so it's dumb. He's not very bright. Um, so he he launches his breath weapon at both of these guys, uh, and this cold blast throat blows through there, um, and it doesn't seem to have any effect, and it makes him even more angry. <laughs> but. I don't know if it'll work. Yes, why did it not work? But uh, he used his breath weapon, and his 10d6 won't attack you guys. Next time you'll use his fart weapon. It, this is like a, a, it's like each one of these is like a CR9, so this is fun. <laughs> Next time it will, it will use his fart weapon. Yeah. All right, so that's the, that's the, that's all of their goes. They're all done. Jackson, you are up. attacking the Yeti. <laughs> All righty then. I will uh, look here. Yeah. And then I will fire an arrow while also casting Hail of Thorns. Nice. I'll fire the arrow first to see if it hits before. Uh, let's go with that guy. I'm gonna hit the Yeti. Okay. Oh, did I just crit? Yeah. Oh my. That's a fat 20. Awesome. Then I will. So, Hail of Thorns damage. I'm gonna cast at it first level. And. There we go. Let me do my arrow damage as well. One moment. And that's a deck save. Uh, for Hail of Thorns, no. It just additional damage mm -hmm. if I hit. So then, there's that damage. So and then also the uh, one sec. Yeah. And and a, a, he's still Hunter's Mark, so he still gets the Hunter's Mark damage as well. Yeah. Also, Another. that uh, short board damage should be doubled. Yes. So it was a crit. So we got. Uh, 10, 18, and we're looking at 30 damage. 30 damage? Nice. Yep. That would be 9, yeah, 15 normal, because there's a crit, 30 to the Yeti. <laughs> he's not looking good. Awesome. Uh, he's looking bloodied. 
That's a day. Yeah, that was a lot. Let me make sure he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't heal up either. <laughs> the Halo of Thorns also hits anything within five feet of your target. Oh, does it? I did not mm -hmm. mean that. Well, it looks like both of them are going to take that Hail of Thorns damage as well. So, 10 because it was critted? Yep. <laughs> so each of them take dam 10 damage as well. One of them's been hurt for the first time. Yeah. And the other one's hurt. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> All right, next up, Boz. Okay, who's looking the worst off here? Uh, the, let me see, the Yeti, uh, the Yeti, uh, closest to death is the troll that's in front of you to the right. Okay, I mean, the, the Yeti looks pretty dumb and is probably going to keep attacking the trolls, so uh, I'm going to come over here, and... I'm going to Hunter's Mark this troll. Ooh. <laughs> Double marked. I have the Yeti marked, so. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh. Ooh. But, uh... That's a lot of ones. Oof. And then I'm going to start swinging at him. Forgot one ability I need to remember. Uh, Boz, at the beginning of your turn, of yes. the cold emanating off of this troll um, requires a save. Well, I wasn't next to one at the beginning of my turn. Within 10 feet. Mm, Were you within 10 feet? No, at the beginning. No, you were 15, weren't you? No, I, I, I moved like 20 feet up. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm just 15 feet out, so it's perfect. So, my... uh, any any creature that starts its turn within 10 feet of the troll. So, my first attack. Oh, does a 20 hit? The 20 does hit. So, that's uh, 11 damage, including the hunter's mark. All right. And assuming he's still up, I'm going to swing again. He is up. Does a 17 hit. 17 does hit. Okay. And... I've been forgetting that. I have two attacks as well. <laughs> <laughs> we are all forgetting something. So, oh. 12. 12 for the axe, plus 4 for an hunter's mark. 16 more. <laughs> and, that, under that. and that is my turn. He's looking pretty bad. But none of that was fire or acid, unfortunately. Yeah. Johnny Mumjumbo. <laughs> okay. Uh, does anyone uh, except for me look uh, hurt? <laughs> I'm down 7. Okay. Uh, so... Let's get you sorted out first, okay? So, <laughs> I mean, I look okay, but, but I, I mean, I'm... You not, but I can see you are not okay. I'm a doctor, you know. So... You are a doctor. Are you a mechanic? Oh, I, I have some magic powers on my, on my behalf, you know. Let's see, let's try this. Uh, I'm a shadow at Jim's again, well, because I don't want to waste too many dice. What was that? Uh, how many health are you actually missing because I don't waste too many dice on this? If I had to quantify it, I am at 48 out of 55. Okay. Uh, let's do only one day. <laughs> let's do only one Yeah, the only damage I took was the trap. Mm -hmm. Because we... Ooh, so, hello. I will roll it right here. So you get uh, six HP back and also one uh, one temporary HP on top of that, and that is my bonus action. Um, I am cool with that. Or is it my? Yeah, is it? It's my bonus action. Very cool. Very cool. And uh, do I recall correctly that uh, this troll? Uh, sorry, 
this straw is looking pretty bad. Yep. So, so when a creature starts dying, you know what? Something happens. The bell stairs, you know. So we're gonna send some other death on that guy. So he's got the energy up. Well, there is no save after all. Is that wisdom? Wisdom. Wisdom yeah. save. Whew, 17 with a minus one. Uh, you use an inspiration to minus one d6? Can we actually do that? <laughs> no, no, I don't think we can, but... That would be actually awesome, you know? I know. Uh, I think uh, only Thomas can do that. that. Hey, Thomas, use an inspiration. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> okay, I also want to move... Uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. That. Where'd the balm of the summer court come from? Uh, it's from the druid circle. Oh, oh cool. As I said, oh, doctor. Yeah, I haven't read into that one much. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, circle of dreams, it's called. And yeah, that's my turn. All right. So uh, as we get to the end of that round, the crowd um, is uh, super excited. They are just stomping the feet. You guys are really trouncing these uh, these guys. And they're like, kill, 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 kill. Uh, before we get to the top of the round, we are actually going to take a quick break um, just so that uh, we can use the restroom and, and then come back here and do some more some more fun. So we will uh, we'll take a quick break and then we'll be back in about five to ten minutes. Hello everyone and welcome back to Quest Chaos. We are playing the Five E Fight Club, uh, and we have a couple of couple of ice trolls and an abominable yeti out on the battlefield, fighting some people who have magically appeared in this arena that is a plain unto itself they are surrounded by screaming devils that are right now chanting kill 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 uh as you guys are doing significant damage to some very tough monsters <laughs> they also fought themselves a little bit but uh they 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 might have learned their lesson they ugly and they dumb yeah that's right <laughs> all, you know. So uh, before we jump right back into this, I want to thank Duke League for 500 bits for the players. That, uh, thank that you, does please. bring us up to uh, seven, seven bits. Um, they can use uh, one of those for a D6, two of them for a card, or two of them for a reroll. So <laughs> top of the lineup is Euphoria. <sighs> Splendid. Let's see. Ooh. Cool. Euphoria is going to. Where is it? She's going to throw her dagger at that one. Well, that one. All right. Uh. Oh, oh, nice. That's a natural 20. Nat 20. Man, now it's too bad we're not you... using luck cards. We've got a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To say, now we're not using luck cards. We're rolling blood twins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see damage from a dagger. How many nat 20s is that now? Like three? Yeah, I would say three. Something like that. One, oh, it's a three. Yeah. Two. So oh, four. Seven. Four. four. I'm going back through it. Four, fifth, five. Six. That's insane. Six. 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 Imagine the good cards you would have with that. Gosh. Why do you go to this? That's a single. Uh, <laughs> I, it's only one. Yeah, but we have these awesome, cool beta test cards, too. Yeah. Here they are. Pretty cool. Yeah. They are very cool. We're gonna see that real soon. Yeah. yeah. I was such a thinking the... of I was such a thinking of taking one additional card just to see what's in there. <laughs> we can do let's use 
what we've got. Let's let's use the ones we got. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I that was a eight points of damage for that, and and you threw it at the troll. Yes, <laughs> the one that's hopefully going to be dead here soon. He's not looking good. Nice. Uh, and then I'm gonna give Bardic inspiration to Seth. All right. Boz the orc is feeling inspired. Fire to kill. <laughs> Cilantro the cheesecake, you are up next. They are still resisting. <laughs> Maybe if I speak louder. Congratulations! You are being rescued through death. Please do not resist. And I will fire a scorching ray. Oh, you uh, stupid. Separating them at all one at each. Actually, yeah, one at each. Sure, why not? Have I been able to tell? Has the Yeti regenerated or just the trolls? The Yeti has not regenerated. Just in case, let's shoot one at the one in the back and two at the one that's nearly dead. Okay. So first, the one in the back. 21. 21, 21 hits. Uh, for seven fire damage. All right. And then two at the front. Why did that not work? <laughs> oh, no, it did. Okay, so a 7 and a 27. 7 uh, misses shooting uh, wildly. That's, that's 7 damage. That's yeah, seven seven damage. damage. Oh, that was the 7 damage. Okay, yeah, so, so 27 so hits. Yes, 27 hits. And then... No, another 27. Another 27. Wow. This, Roll 20's rigged on the weekends. I think that's what it is. <laughs> the week. Then let's always just play on the weekends. Let's uh, just stick to that. Uh, I mean, well, actually, I these are, well, actually, these are DD Beyond roles, so yeah, they it's are. true. Yeah. Like, this, this is, is DD Beyond right here. Yeah. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's a so, conspiracy. Uh, the one in the back takes seven fire damage. Yeah. And now here's my question because my arcane firearm. Let me see how it's worded. But this is Scorching Ray, yes? Yeah, but my Arcane Firearm says you can use your Arcane Firearm as a spellcasting focus for your Artificer spells. When you That's, cast yeah. an Artificer spell through the Firearm, roll a D8, and you gain a bonus to one of the spell's damage rolls. Okay, so just one. I'll do it to the... Uh, let me roll the damage first. So the one in the front takes 10 fire. All right. Is it still alive? Uh, it is in pieces, but is still alive. In pieces? It looks uh, like, yeah, you, mean, you, just, you like blew an arm off of it. Uh, and it oh, does so not look then, good. Then the arcane firearm damage is an extra three to it. And that is going to make me ask how you want to do this. <laughs> so the scorching ray the first one comes in drills it in the shoulder and starts kind of fire starting to expand and then the second one goes towards it and then kind of pulls a luke skywalker in a right turn down its gullet <laughs> goes in and you see a sort of as the fire explodes and then poof and it belly explodes outwards with fire. oh yeah that requires some darkness descends <laughs> i wish i could hear it right now um, literally. so as that one dies yeah then, <laughs> Down then my, the my remy cannon <laughs> i'm gonna call it that from now on it's my remy cannon <laughs> it's a remy cannon yeah uh, where is what was the range on that? I just want to double check. Uh, dang it, where is it? <laughs> uh, six not approved. 
120. Okay, it's fine. Um, yeah, the Remy Cannon is going to shoot at the Yeti. With... Uh, for an 11. 11 is not going to do it. Any, anybody want to add something to that? Or do we have a card that'll help with that? Uh, Isn't it saying it's a dexterity save? Yeah. It does. You, it shouldn't be. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, and also, okay. you, you all are damaged. You are damaged yeah, and the 11. Oh, damaged. that would do it. Okay, fine. Are you sure Here's it's not? Spell. Okay. <laughs> that does not hit either. That doesn't work. Re no, Remy's, too, cards Remy's too I'm busy actually, I'm telling somebody. A D6 might might be enough. Um, or just two for a reroll. Your call. It's got a pretty good D6 plus. Might be better. I, I mean, it's got a plus nine and it deals a bunch of damage, so. Yeah, use two and do a reroll. I'm voting for that. Yeah. Score. Okay. All right. That's two. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, a natural one. If only we were using the cards. I would only have one. <laughs> and you guys so, have wow. So, you got, so, so you, got a, you got Emma, basically. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got you got Emma. Emma. <laughs> okay. So, no, Remy got Emma. Um, so, apparently, Remy is Saturday. too busy uh, flirting with somebody and telling them about this tavern <laughs> on another plane. And, and yes... Yes, Duke Fleet, it's a Remy cannon because my Eldritch cannon is apparently using Remy's icon. I, <laughs> I yeah. just imagine that uh, that Remy cannon is talking to someone or it's for us to realize it's talking to its own reflection. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. I guess eh, why not? I'll move I'll move up to yeah, I already set that one off. I'll move there. All right. And uh, at the top of the Yeti, uh, top of the Ice Troll's turn, <clears throat> he does not regenerate because he took fire damage. But... God is, on fire. What is he going to... Stop. Roll 20. <laughs> okay. He has not moved yet. I click the button and it doesn't do anything. Well, don't move him too much. Attacks of opportunity. <laughs> oh, he can get there. He can get there. Actually, if he just goes there, he doesn't uh, provoke any attacks of opportunity. He just stands on his brother. <laughs> 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 I'm the uh, captain now. All right, and he's coming in. Uh, he's coming in angry. Let's see. What does he want to do? Uh, first, need to roll a d6. Why does this say six? That is a recharge. Oh. Oh no. Oh, wait, what is he recharging? <clears throat> Breath attack. Yeah, he or the. I thought that was the Yeti. No, I think it's got the ten foot area thing. Oh, it's built to chew five gum. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they they uh oh oh yeah. Wow, I haven't heard that one in years. That, that's that, a good one. That that's is, a good yeah. one. That's a good call. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, Brina, you are correct. That is the Yeti that has a breath weapon. Um, <laughs> and. Dean the Beyond is mixing up my character sheets. <laughs> oh no. Like I said, uh, it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's coming Oops. in with three attacks on, on the orc. So the first one will bring it. Is a bite and two Brutal. claws. Oof. So I am a uh, <sighs> full plate, huh? Use it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Use it. 
Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me look you at my the campaign. Full plate. Let me look at uh, the D and D Beyond for for these character sheets. <laughs> They're all God. What's your AC, Seth? What do you want? Oh, yeah. uh, twenty-one. Oh. Cool. Like yeah. mine. Uh, let me let me see which is worse for you. <laughs> this he's, feels he's, like he's... cheating. <laughs> that feels he's like meta gaming to me. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. <laughs> he's going to inspire um, his claw attack to reroll. Two us. <sighs> Emma. Did he pull an Emma? Oh, yeah, 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 he pulled an Emma! Oh my god. Wait, was it an Amy or an Emma? Or at least an Amy, yeah. It's so four. So I had a plus seven on all those attacks. And I didn't get over a 13. Yes! <laughs> I just... Well, <laughs> oh, that's great. Speed. Oh my gosh. All right. It's well, so that, fast! That was... Yeah, that was his go. That troll is dead. Now it's the Eddie's turn. And now it's the Yeti's turn, and I'm gonna take that six that I rolled earlier to recharge. Yay! The, wait, so the troll did not recharge anything? The troll doesn't have anything. Oh, it was oh okay. Yeah. Yeti, yeah. Is this a five? Oh red? no! Das ist nicht gut. Actually, what I have the, resistance. I don't care. What is the? Yeah, I have resistance to cold, I'm poison, and fire. A thirty-foot cone. Oh, this, is this is going to hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, well, makes my job a bit easier. <laughs> but hey, Seth has bardic inspiration for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably need it. Actually, uh, I don't. Uh. No, he's not using color spray, but I'm trying to think. That's cool. That's the uh, that's the that a, four or five gum. Is uh, that a thirty foot cone? Yeah, I want to look at that and see what what a thirty foot cone actually is. I'm still confused on how that works. Sometimes. Let me just uh, bing something real quick. Bing. Let's go to order. Bing. You. <laughs> I'm not binging anything. That's new. You can also try your hook. Joke. That is a Warren. Punch that joke. <laughs> <laughs> you also try Yahoo. Oh yeah, even better. Yahoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is there, I mean, you would think that that uh, that there would be a thirty foot cone icon in Roll Twenty. There is. If you just like um, search for cone. It'll bring up something in in the uh, assets. I don't do this too often, pretending to work during the day. <laughs> Premium at well, fifteen. Okay, so a fifteen foot cone is not very big. A thirty foot cone is very big. So I'm, I'm. I'm just gonna make it. I'm gonna make a call yeah. that he can hit these three people right in here with this cone. No, just two. The tiefling is gonna be out of it. He what? can either darn. keep the orc or. Oh darn! <laughs> All right, so. So he recharged his breath and he screams in Yeti. Screw you. That's why he screams in Yeti. Uh, please oh, make it. Uh, uh, constitution saving throw. For so who's, who's uh, making it? Seth and uh, who's next to it? Uh, Jackson? Yeah. Yes. Um. Euphoria is just out of the way of that. Yeah, I don't think Bard Inspiration is going to be good enough. Oh, well, it's a D eight. Oof. Yeah. Um, if you max it out, would anybody be opposed to me using a D six? I'm okay with it. 
Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to roll a d6 on top of that, because... I could actually heal a lot of people at once. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Yeah. I'm not gonna like die to... here. Jackson alive, that would I be ideal. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, you got a d6. Uh, point of order, I th just to be fair, I think I should take it. Because thir I'm 30 feet away. Oh. And I'm and I'm looking at the book, just oh. to be fair. Um, and is, it, is it that big of a thing? A cone extends in a direction you choose from its point of origin. If it's 30 feet, oh. I'm 30 feet away. And then the width at a given point along its length is equal to that point's distance from the point of origin. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, I think everyone's going to get it. Yeah. I, okay. I, just, no, I need to... Sorry, Sounds just, good. Uh, uh, he's got fair. this one one thing that That's does a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it was. Uh, uh, am, I, am I just outside, but, or I think it too? Uh, you are outside. No, you're, okay. You said it was a cone. Uh, con. Yeah. Cone. Yeah. No con, con. save. So a d6 16 for Jackson does not. Dang it! Ooh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You were with a 16. Ouch. That's harsh. That's very harsh. So that is a so let's that is a fail all around forever. Oh, this yep. is gonna hurt. Yep. Okay, time time to rethink my strategy. I need and all right, thirty-two points of damage as oh. the cone of cold. It's thirty-two. Decimates. Well, uh, I'll take sixteen. Did it? Did it kill one out of every ten of its own troops? <laughs> uh, the, the other, the other thing on the battlefield is immune to cold. Oof! Ow! Ow! It was half over half my HP. Ow! This hurts. Ow! 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 ow. Well, let me right. check my concentration. Oh, me too. And uh, don't. Constitution save for me as well, so I can keep my hundred. How about the bardic inspiration there, Seth? Mm, that wouldn't be enough. A D8, right. did you, yeah, no. Um, check up to what, 25? I would need to roll an 8. Well, yeah. Ah. Oh, oh, wait. Duke Fleek said oh. the tiefling should be outside the cone. It's an equilateral triangle. And he's been playing for a lot longer than me, so I'm inclined to believe him. <laughs> I, think, I, I think we're doing so well that that <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it as is. Even though you're I already probably, took half damage anyway. Like uh, you're probably technically. We're doing live. Which is the, the best time. Thank you. Perfect. What's the rule on concentration? It is uh, ten or, or half the damage taken. Half the damage taken. Whichever is highest. Oh crap! Oh, I lose my concentration on Hunter's Mark then. Uh, you want a D6? Because you should have to take get a thir 12 or a thirteen, I think. You uh, need a sixteen. I need a 16 because it was 30. Oh, 16. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was 32 damage. I would need a 5 or higher. Not yeah. to adults on that one. Turn Vegas, do it. Ah. <laughs> Hold off. We'll save them. Um. Okay. Oops. Is it my turn now? Ah, actually, Prismatic Spray. Uh, so six by six. Hmm. Welcome to our new segment where we do geometry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's a thirty foot count. There it is. What do you mean this is this isn't dungeons or dragons? This is math. <laughs> yeah. This so, is math. Uh, it's a fantasy in it. It's a fantasy close. math. Close. But uh, we're all gonna get hit. 
There's some magic in that. So, all right, that's the end of its go. That's all it could do uh, was that one breath weapon. Was deal oh, half oh. of all of our damage. <laughs> yeah, just slightly. Up next is Jackson. How are you right. feeling? I am not doing well at all. Um, but I see a Yeti in front of me that needs to be damaged. I'm going to put my bow away, pull out my hand axe and my mace, walk up to him, and take two big old swings on him. One with the hand axe, one with the mace. Kill, kill, kill. How did I do? Oof. 19 and 12. So 19's going to hit. Okay. The 12 does not. 12 does not. Okay. So the hand axe damage coming at you. Boom. That's three slashing damage. Wait, shouldn't? Uh, oh, never mind. Yep, three slashing damage. Uh, so I will say too, as you got up close to that troll, the the cold coming off of it um, keeps you from wanting to be right where you are. Awesome. Um, awesome. <laughs> so you um, may want to be get out uh, of five oh. feet away. And Buzz, you can feel the cold being this close to it. Mm. Okay. Uh, and then as my bonus action, I'm going to take one more hit. Being a two-weapon fighter, I can take one more attack. All right. And I'm going to use the... Uh, let's go with the mace again. Do we want to pop yeah, one of those help. cards here? And I, yeah. am, I do want to use that card again so I get another action after this one as well. So I'm going to use the card that I have. I don't know cool. how to use it. We'll deal damage. the mace damage. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. The mace damage. Eight bludgeoning. There we go. All right. And then Bonk. I want to use, yeah, I want to use my card to do a whole nother attack action, which is two more attacks. Eight damage. Eight damage. Yeah. So you're just beating this thing with these bludgeoning. <laughs> Darn it. Beat it like a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote, uh, for the mice. using the card to do two more attacks. Uh, I rolled a 13 and a 15. Sorry. Yeah, those just <laughs> miss. All right. And then I'm going to use the rest of my movement to take five foot steps. Uh, attack of, it'll be an attack of opportunity. That's. Um, you could. Nice. You could go here and not provoke attack. Isn't that technically still within five feet of him? Uh, five feet of the troll. You don't want. Oh. To be. Okay. Yeah, it's, not the, the it's not the yeti. Okay, Correct. I thought it was the yeti. Correct. No. Okay. Yeah, I'll go there then. Yeah. Okay. You, my apologies. If you move like one, idiot, only for ice. If you move one more, Boz could get out of the way. Never mind. Meta. Sorry. I'm not there. <laughs> no, I'm just going to ju uh, jump there. Get out uh, of the pool. All right. Boz, you are up. And you are going to, as you start your turn within 10 feet of this, take some damage. Uh, it is a. There is no save. So you just take 10 points of damage. Oof. For being within 10 feet of this troll. Starting your turn, I should say. Well, um, Boz is not looking so hot. <laughs> looking kind of chilly, right. actually. I, I don't know. He looks good to me. Mm. All right. Um, <laughs> I do not want that Brett's weapon to happen again, so let us start by casting. Uh, so I will say, um, looking at these things, the Yeti looks closer to death. Mm -hmm. Kill the Yeti! Kill the Yeti! Yeah, Kill. just a question of uh, Kill the Yeti! How much, how much Kill overkill Yeti. put into this? Kill the Yeti! <laughs> Kill the Yeti! Alright. 
I'm going to cast Branding Smite. Yes. <laughs> but I did my god, it takes the well, That's not very good. So that will be added to the next hit I make on something. Mm -hmm. so let's see if I can hit something. You. Apparently not, so I will Ooh. swing again. That's more like it. 20, yeah, 24 uh -oh. is going to hit, that's for sure. Okay, so now um, I'm going to play my card, which says... Uh, d divine Intervention, uh, change a regular hit into a critical hit. You must hit on the attack before using this card. And I'm going to throw in a Divine Smite. Yes. Does the Branding Smite, smite, smite get smite. doubled too? Yes. yes. Kill it. All and the Smite. That, and and the wording on that is after the attack, you can spend a spell slot? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, just a uh, first level slot. So, um, so in addition to the what? I mean, that 12, seems 12 damage we've done so far. Um, it's going to be another. One D eight for the crit on the uh, battle axe, plus uh, another two D six for the branding smite. God, I feel like this is someone doing accounting from yeah. Anderson and Associates. <laughs> plus, <laughs> is that um, just for head hits? Yeah. I missed Divine it. Smite is first level is 2d8, double to 4d8. Hashtag hopes. And this is addition in addition to that 12 I've already done. Oh. So yes. 38 total. Yes. Third, yes. Good that lord. Dead. Not dead, but not looking great at all. Okay. Can I can I use can I use that movement card now? Wait, what? Yeah, so one of the so you have not used your movement, so you have one of the cards. Can you read out what the card does, Seth? Yeah. Or whoever has it. Yep, yeah, use that one. Um use a move action to move up to thirty feet through any number of enemies. Oh, does that have to be an action and not your regular move? You can also jack your card um, and like this. Without provoking opportunity attacks. Each enemy moved through takes 1d4 points of damage. So let's see, one of them. Nope, not that card. Who is me? The boosted man. Bull Rush. Oh, you have Boosted Bull Rush, which allows you to use your move action. The regular Bull Rush. You have to use your action to do it. Okay. So, so yeah. I have to move through these guys. So and they're they're big. That's that's the problem, right? So it's well, can I just move into no, their space and, and like move up there for five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and end up over here. All right. So yeah, so you kind of duck into his space underneath a swing that misses um, and you go through their space and you deal damage, don't you? Three damage. Three damage. All right. Um, not enough to not enough to bring the Yeti down, but oof. He's he's howling in rage and in pain and there is just blood all over his his white fur. 
And now I get to see if I survive to my next turn. <laughs> and Johnny Mom Jumbo. Okay, so first of all, I want to drop my high concentration. And I would say this turn would uh, require me to be a little more, uh, let's say, immaculate. And how better to be immaculate than be with the immaculate guilt of Dr. Pierce? <laughs> uh, there we go. Hey, we got all three of them now. Uh, Seth, yeah. show off. Got all three shirts. <laughs> nice. Exclamation point. I'm extra sweaty, by the way. <laughs> and uh, also, I want to use my bonus section to cast a healing spell. So it's. It's gonna be a uh, let's see. The special is a transfer beast or fame. Let's choose both since I have as it as my headdress. And <laughs> it will spawn right here. And everybody who gets in the close space with the healing spirit uh, gets uh, two points of healing. How far? Uh, I believe it's only five feet basically in the like if you move into some, like in the creature space. So oh, into uh, its space. Like, yeah. Feels like that I, one. I basically wanted to say, I basically wanted to say to, for everyone to stay together so all, all of you would get the benefits of the healing, but that also be a metagaming. I didn't want to, uh, yeah. Well, shit happens. And that is my bonus section. And as my regular action, I want to. Uh, but I will. I want to. As uh, I want to build some tools on the Yeti, so I will do that again. All right. Uh, he's yeah, he's been making these. Wisdom, wisdom save? save. Yeah, wisdom save. All right. Fifteen. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Okay. Wait, is, yeah. Wait. Is that no? I rolled an eleven. I'm sorry. That's an eleven. Oh! That is a fail. That's it, right? Is it that? Two D twelve. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, it's, let's it's, see. It's, uh, I rolled with two D twelves. Oh, it's a it's a fifteen. Yeah. Is what was rolled. Oh, fifteen yeah. damage. Yeah. Yes. Uh, tell us about the sound that this makes, because that oh. is dead yeti. So. Uh, as the shit is going on, all around, every side, kill, kill, kill. All of the sudden, you hear the bell tolls. And in the bells, you could see, hear the same, the same uh, word. Kill, kill, kill. And as the, uh, as the hells take upon the, the sounds of these bells, the Yeti will start to take his head and start to squeal in pain and it will drop dead. And as it lies for us, Fades away, a smirk goes up on Johnny's face, and that's my turn. Blah. As the Yeti falls to the ground, as dust pillows out, billows out from underneath him. Lucifer is not contagious. <laughs> Lucifer, and, there you go. Nice. And the top of the lineup of Euphoria, there is one ice troll left who looks pretty healthy stick some metal in it yep well you know i did that with the other one but then it's died so now i have to go That's get my dagger me. back <laughs> which is fine because i'm resistant to cold damage <laughs> and it totally won't murder me horribly wait if she runs by me can i just sort of like do a do a handoff with my dagger yeah uh yeah yeah i've got the movement Actually, yeah. I'll just go over to you. Here, have a dagger. <laughs> I feel like we both have the same spell that we want to use. I think so. Or would you um, prefer a crossbow? <laughs> you know, I do have a short bow. That'll work. It's got metal. It's got a little bit of metal in it, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're both trying to pull a James right here. <laughs> yep. Quite, quite literally. I'm even a bard. It'll all work out. Um... Right, Unfortunately, right. we have to wait. So one of us has to do it. So okay, I will take the shot. I <clears throat> pull out 
pull my bow out. I haven't taken my freaking well, someday you guys will see what my instrument is, but for the moment she's gonna take her bow out. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. I think I played a bard once with them with uh uh, one of the bring, bring, bring things that you do in your yeah, they're, they're job. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't annoying at all for the one shot. <laughs> An eleven is not gonna do it. Inspiration. Yeah, I'll inspire. I'll inspire that for a for a reroll. Oh, you wanna do a reroll or D six? D six. I don't think is gonna do it. We haven't really pinned in there, AC. Yeah, how many? I, uh, how many we have got left? Uh, you have four Seven. left. Yeah. So reroll. Yeah. G okay. Gimpy, your microphone is up. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering though, you're so quiet. Sorry, I had to cough. So there I we go. Yeah, that's much better. Right. Good, 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 good. Damn. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. Ooh, and six damage. Very nice. Yeah. Six piercing. Um, you're doing pretty good. Who? Oh, did I didn't even take that, did I? Okay, never mind. We're gonna give a bardic inspiration to Ben. Sweet. Right. Lucifer, how long does the healing spirits last? Uh, it's a constitution up to one, up to one minute. Okay. Cool. So it's uh it's anyone within five feet of yeah you don't have to pass feet through who it. first enters the space and who starts there. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. How much does it heal? Uh, only two. Sorry. Well, no, it's one plus your mod spell modifier. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know, actually. Uh, so, uh, it's it's three. Uh, which okay. Uh, wait, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, it's order two and my spell. Uh, yeah, so four help it uh, restores. Mm -hmm. It does not four help. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use that bardic inspiration to instead drop my mantle of inspiration. So who Excellent. is the most hurt? Uh, uh, actually, probably sorry, actually, me. Sorry. Uh, uh, it only restores uh, two hit points, and it can restore up times up to one plus to spell casting modifiers so only. It can only restore three times the two health. Okay. Thank you, Fleek. Okay, All right. so... so that is those are to me, right? Uh, are you the one... player though? <laughs> We're back up to four. <laughs> Thank you for one thousand bits. Thank you. All right. Uh, to answer your question, have... I am probably the most damaged. What are... I'm below one third, but I'm about to heal myself. What are you at? Uh uh Jackson? Uh, below half. Yeah, me too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Gimpy. I've got 18 out of 60. And... Oof. I'm at 23 out of 55. Yeah. I'm at exactly Gimpy, the same. And Seth. <laughs> of 23 I'll get to 55. Eight temporary right. hit points. And if you want, you can move up to 30 feet without uh, getting an opportunity to attack. Excellent. All right. And then so, we have, sorry, we have more bits from. Oh, bow dub, our very own bow for wearing oh. the natural one shirt. That is one. <laughs> Love you, bow. Thank you. Nice to see you, bow. Thank, Thank you bow. very much. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for Remy's luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah Remy, yeah, bow. Yeah. I I don't know if you how much of this you've caught, but um, your avatar is apparently my eldritch cannon. So mm. my cannon now has a tricorn hat with a feather and a silk rope. It's a Remy cannon. <laughs> it's a Remy cannon. Yeah. So eight temp hit points. Sweet. Yep. And a free movement with no opportunity attacks, should you so desire. Yeah. Uh, is that, Lucky. Uh, is that I, your turn? Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and move here and get those how many hit points back? Only two. That's okay. Yeah. And then I'll come here. So this basically one use now for the two left. Yep. Okay, so now because I'm pretty sure we were planning the same thing, Cilantro goes. You have metal inside you now. Please let me cauterize it 
do not resist and heat metal on the arrowhead. So what does the spell heat metal say? Does it generate fire? It is Choose a fire. manufactured metal object, such as a metal weapon or a suit of heavy or medium metal armor that you can see within range. You cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell. Until the spot spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. If a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes the damage from it, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. All right. In a, in a campaign, I would probably rule that you can't see the metal on an arrow shaft because it's buried inside the troll. However, <laughs> because that was an awesome thing, yes, you totally see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm Team borrowing from James who did it during the Bardic one shot with us. Exactly, yeah. yeah I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've both been planning that for a while. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so actually, here. 10 fire damage. That's my little Plus our spells, hold on. Plus, so yeah, it has to now make a con saving. Oh no, it can't drop it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it it's cannot, it. yeah, it can't drop it. So it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of my next turn. Um, All right. However, it also because I'm channeling through my wand. It, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Artillerist is, is broken. Yeah, it is. It also takes an additional six fire damage. All right. And then my Remy Cannon is going to... Does it have to get out of the way of the Yeti corpse? Or no, can it... you can go on it. Okay. It's... Sure, it'll go right here, and it's going to shoot its force ballista at the troll, uh, which is there, for a 26. Yeah, that hits. And deals, where is it? Okay, why did it do that? Okay, on my screen, on D and D Beyond, it shows an eight and a seven. <laughs> on roll twenty, it shows a ten. <laughs> hmm. So That's to attack is a twenty-six, which hits and does ten points of damage. Yep, yeah, of force. Inspiration. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> What'd you say? Did you say inspiration? <laughs> Conspiracy. Uh, conspiracy, you know? conspiracy. conspiracy. No, if there was a conspiracy, the 15 I rolled on D&D Beyond would have counted. <laughs> All right. Um, so now the Ice Troll would love to regenerate, but it can't. Instead, it is going to, as part of its move action, rip the arrow out. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to say, though, that that does. Uh... I forgot to ask. Was that the arrow to the knee? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so the troll! The troll wasn't an adventurer. Yeah. So, so I will say that as the ripping it out does five points of damage to it, Oof. but he's not happy with that. Come on. Okay. Well, I'll drop concentration when I can. Then. Oof. You know what? So, so the troll has advantage. Uh, no, nope, that's no. Uh, it has disadvantage. In smell. I'm just. Uh, Wisdom ch perception checks that rely on smell. It's a straight roll then, because um, since it couldn't throw the thing away, it's got disadvantage on ability checks until the next turn. All right. From the heat metal. So that is a four wisdom check. He was looking for the most hurt person. So instead, he's going to attack the person with the most hit points. So who, <laughs> who has the most hit points um, of... 
these three. Honestly, I think that's me. Do temp yeah, count? I'm at 23. <laughs> I'm do, at 34. Do, do temp hit points count? Yeah. Then I'm at uh, 33. All right. So. We needed to do more fire to him anyway, so this will work out as long as I don't die. <laughs> So he runs oh, <laughs> to attack you with a bikes, and you know what? He, yeah, he can Ooh. go okay. there. He will do uh, two attacks on the tiefling and one attack on the the nice. odd metal construct. <laughs> <laughs> so a bite and a claw on the tiefling. So the bite hits with an 18, but the other one's a natural one. Okay. I could probably so, survive one attack. <laughs> a, a bite does that much and that much. Yeah, we so, can't see that. Uh, eight points of cold damage, so a total of 17 points of damage, although eight of that is cold, so it only does four. So Because you are resistant. Yeah, 13. Yeah, 13 points of damage. And the claw to, yeah. Oh, wait. Can I cast that higher? No, I can't. Darn. No, not the racial one. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, get a low dexterity, okay, please. All right. Uh, so we'll so okay. So so we'll do that uh, damage first. So he's gonna make a save. Yep. All right. Deck save. It's a five. So <laughs> yeah. twenty, Kill. Kill. 20 Kill. points Kill. of fire. Kill. It's a lot. Yeah. It's as a as lot the of crowd is like, cow, cow. Um. However. Uh, squeal. Well, let's see. No. Uh, cilantro. I don't know why I don't remember. Him. Cilantro. Uh, <laughs> How did you? A 23 to hit uh, with the claw. Oof. Oof. Not the greatest. Oh, I think we lost Ben. Yeah, he froze. Oh, no. Right in the middle of the market. The facial expression is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll, we'll stay here until his video completely goes. <laughs> That's face though. <laughs> it is quite hilarious. Oh. That should be his profile pic, by the way. Right. Uh, I there you go. All right, all right. Um, so we will get back to that. Doing that damage. Is it working? Hey, Am I back? There you are. Oh, back. Um, yeah, no, it's not dealing damage because I'm using the shield spell as my reaction, and that gives me 26 AC. Oh, yeah. nice. That's a lot of AC. Yeah, I have 21 AC as well. Yeah, apparently, Kelly. Sent us more bits. Yeah, yeah. Kelly sent to oh. one thousand to the DM. Kelly, because our new oh, dream must go. be maintained. Reoccurring oh. dream, yes. Reoccurring dream with one thousand bits to Ooh. the DM. What? Thanks. He doesn't need more, you know. To the <laughs> DM. That's well, nice. okay. So I had a 23, shield was drawn. I'm gonna use one of these to add a D6. Wait, wait, I have one word as a reaction to that. <laughs> one, Slash, one, roll, one, 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 D6. Or two. So what do I need? I need a three or better. Yeah. Oh! Or... Mm. And I already used BS. my reaction, so no absorb elements. Right. It is a uh, 12 points of damage. Uh, five of that is cold. Uh, that doesn't matter. I okay. call BS. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. That is amazing. Um, God, you're killing me, Smalls. 
these feel guys our are pain. With Bo, feel whose pain? <laughs> I guess everybody's pain right now. All right. What is uh, next? I can still pull this off though. Yeah. So let me uh, let me quick. We have no video yeah. on channel. Fleet says. Yeah, yeah. We, we have still the map. Uh, pentagons. Yeah. You gotta maneuver things around. Oh. All right, that is. Oh, I think we're all in the right place, or at least we're close. Uh, we yeah. have. There we go. Now we got everyone. Now we are a store. <clears throat> okay. All right. all right. Sorry about that. My Zoom crapped out. I did it before stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, not so during that, though. That is uh, sure. that is the end of the ice trolls' turn. The other ones are dead. Jackson Skelling is up. Awesome. I am going to move here. Woo! <laughs> Two hit points. Two hit yeah. points for me. Mm -hmm. I One need it. Plus. <laughs> Definitely need it. Um, and then I am going to give him a, go ahead and do three hits on him. Two for my main attack and then one for my bonus attack. All right. One there. One there. Let's see what those two did. Ugh. Those ones hit. Both of those hit. Woo! Sweet. Uh, damage. Done. Damage. Mm, those rolls, though. Oof. Well, yeah, that's what and you get eight. with a plus two. Yeah. And then eight points of damage. And then is my bonus attack one more attack with the mace? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a natural one. Yeah. Oh, come on. One. No luck cards. Yeah. Oh. And luckily, you didn't see me throw my pencil across the room because it was under the street, under my camera. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> So I mean, oh. every every little bit is knocking this thing down a little a little bit more, and the oh, crowd is just, like salivating. Um. Um. And then, yeah, I'll just stay there then. Down like a prostitution. Oof! I'm gonna stay right there. That'll end my turn. <sighs> All right. Oh, technically, <clears throat> one those have advantage because I'm flanking. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I, I typically I don't use advantage. Okay. You don't use advantage. Uh, Blanking well, flank. Flank. Okay. Just yeah, play just advantage. No advantage on my table. No advantage on. What is an optional rule in the game mechanic? Nope. No advantage at all. We just rogues are shit out of luck. Okay. Yeah. And barbarians when they're raging. Okay, this might be interesting, though. This might be. All so, right. Boz is up. Well, um, I see we've actually, got this on, thing on the ropes, or at least I hope we've got this thing on the ropes. So, before we get too far, um, let's see. This is the first. The, oh, never mind. You're up. Okay. Instead of healing, I'm just going to wait in there and try to finish this guy off. All right. So just taking two swings. Take him out. Does a 17 hit? 17 hits. All right. Divine smite. <laughs> oh, yeah. Might do, we have any, because... do we have any cards left? We've got Fire. a spell card. Oh, that's right. Yes. Although, uh, hey, um, what does the spell card do? Second level? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Temp you can give him a, a, a second level spell slot, a second level divine smite. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you know. Yeah. Well, you already used one, so hit him again and then use it. Yeah. 2D. That was a yeah, lousy roll in the first one. That was. But I do get another attack. <clears throat> Need him, need him. 
So that that was nine total in that first attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine. No, that's nineteen. Um, does a twelve hit? I will you haven't used that not. bardic inspiration I'm, yet. I'm gonna use oh yeah, the use the bardic inspiration. Is it, what what die is it? A D eight. Nice. Uh, yeah. A, does an 18 hit. hit? Yes, it does. Okay. Can I use, use the card. Use the card. Use that take, card. Take a second level slot. Yep. Yeah. Another yeah. divine smite. Kill. How do you, hey Lucifer? How do you say kill in check? Zabit. 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 Or if you like, uh, for example, ask for murder, that means vrajda. I like that. Zabit. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, much easier to say. Yeah. yeah. Hey, the only word I remember in Czech from the three days allegedly I was there in college, which I barely remember in the first place, is evil. <laughs> it was only yeah. one die, so. Yeah. All uh, right. What is the total on that second attack, sir? Total on the second attack is tw 29. Yes. The damage. How would you like to do this? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Zombie. 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 Pivo. Pivo. Wait. Yeah. I know. I like zombie better. By the way, pivo means beer. Oh. <laughs> That's the only yeah. word I remember from the three days I had. In of talk. course. <laughs> I, I am going to swipe and backslash with my axe and and, and chop the uh, orc. Orcish rune for B on to, into his chest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> As he reaches and falls to the ground, he falls to the ground. He oh yeah, he took a hellish rebuke. Yep. So, um, <laughs> and just you see the corpse deteriorate as it is completely dead, and the crowd roars and is still chanting. Turn, 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 turn. Are you not the thing? Wait, wait, now <laughs> what are they chanting? Them. They, they want us to turn against each other, but that's the trick. We're not, they're, they're lying to us. We need to stick together and just refuse. Just refuse what they're doing. Give them the middle finger. Like, no. I'm going to take my hatchet, my throwing axe that's in one hand and point it up at the uh, person up on the ledge and say, we will not fight for your entertainment anymore. Is the Duchess resisting? <laughs> uh, uh, so, so she, as the crowd sort of comes down, she turns to Patches. Patches, you fail again to can be convincing. As she points at him and cast disintegrate and see the yeah. news yeah. <laughs> congratulations you have survived the coliseum well. you will be known as champions for a few days before we fight someone else <laughs> and with that uh you all sort of just poof, 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 poof out of there to wake up in your own beds in the morning of another day, wherever you came from, you are returned to. I still have those kidney stones. I do not have a bed. My creator, your good friend, Dave Jackson, Elias only gave me a station to stand. Yeah, so you go and you stand on like the power armor. <laughs> it's like blink and you're back in your thing. <laughs> that was different. That was a weird uh, experience. Wait, do I is my Remy cannon still around me? <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. It comes back with you. So it's my Remy my Remy cannon, since it did the wee jump at the beginning, it's now gonna like go all the way up me, up onto my shoulder. Go, eh, 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 eh. and then take one of the little hands and spin it around because that one's broken. Put the little the little tiny hat on top of my purple hat, and then go. 
and just kind of merged back in to my shoulder. Oh, nice. the hat. <laughs> so cute. Nice. Mm. Uh, that is that. That in fact is is the end of the mitten. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not the mitten. It's the five E fight club. <clears throat> Yay. Five E fight club. Five e fight club. Woo. The beat. The beat. <laughs> Forever. It's gonna be Peruvian the Forever. garlic for life. <laughs> so that. So I didn't. I didn't. You know. You. Uh, I didn't pull any punches. Um, the yeah, uh, no. You the, just changed the rules so we could actually have some hit more, some decent hit yeah. points. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, up. Definitely. Well, I mean, so the each each of those trolls was a, a challenge rating eight. And the Yeti was a challenge rating nine. So that was a, you know, I mean, that was a very. If they hadn't fought each other as much, we would have had a whole different fight. Yeah, yeah like, definitely. That would I be different to a tougher fight. Yeah. If, there if were only kept two or three right. times we actually took damage. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the downside of such a, a big creature is that it is. What, like if it hits, it's gonna do way massive damage. If as opposed to if he's good, it, yeah. <laughs> if I started so, stuck cool. with my original hit points. I would still have had two left. I would have had. <laughs> yeah, like, I actually was prepared down. to. I was actually prepared to use my guy to basically use uh, uh, my hero skill to just dash out healings and then use bonus action to it again do that. Uh, Thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I was ready to heal everyone. Yeah, I oh, yeah, had, had so many resources. I mean, I had um, uh, cure wounds. I just, so by I. the time we got to that point, I was like, you could do that or burn the thing uh, alive. I also, I also was ready to do this, which is basically, I would just give you an advantage. <laughs> Oh yeah, the cobalt <laughs> thing. Grovel coward bag. I love that one. Yeah. No 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 don't kill them, don't kill them, die both of you know. <laughs> oh god, half <laughs> Yes. So the oh, half would like to see a uh, a mitten featuring Ted. Um Oh good lord. For us they have to a bug in our ground. So uh Yeah, uh uh I, I'm gonna collect my interest now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Ted, well, here's the here's the problem with that. Ted would be played by Bo, and Bo knows strategically how to play characters, whereas I I am a less of a uh, very. <laughs> oh, you okay? I thought yeah, you meant very good. Bo would, a, very good would kill a couple of us. Throat. I mean, if Ted came out, I I would ch swap out the uh, the cannon for the one that gives ten hit points every turn. <laughs> <laughs> I was debating about bringing out the flamethrower cannon, but at that point, I'm like, oh, I haven't actually used any spell slots. I could just do that instead. <laughs> yeah. so, flamethrower cannon would have been useful. <laughs> the what? The flamethrower cannon would have, but at that point, I still had tons of spells to use. Yeah. So, question for you guys. How, how different um, of characters did you build for this versus what you would build in, in a home like a longer campaign. I don't or think was so. it, it was very different. I don't think it was uh, like a very different. <laughs> I just wanted to try a ranger, so I just went with it. Yeah. I you you mentioned I, RP, so I literally just copied <laughs> one of my favorite characters. I just um, I have a list of names, and to every name, I have a associated uh, like, uh, personality, so I just picked a name. Uh, Basically, I picked the Johnny up. Okay, I will do this then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I, doctor, you know. I built this character back when Artificer came out, and the personality was basically... It, it was honestly a joke from a fiasco game I played where one of the suggested names was Cilantro, and the entire game became <laughs> a Thomas joke with this character. <laughs> So when I got this opportunity, I was debating between a character I had already created with a really cool characterization or this, and Tiana convinced me to use the Thomas Troll. I mean, yeah, you, like, of course. <laughs> she yeah. said, I mean, Atticus is awesome, but this is, if you're going to use the <laughs> Thomas Troll, this is the place to do it. 
Oh, it was yeah. a good one. It's a good yeah. character. I mean, the whole that was pl- much fun. I mean, the way I started this is as I was basically texting Tiana daily as I was binge watching everything. I started coming up with character ideas and just making up, just rolling them and creating them and playing with the rules. And I guess turned into a min maxer. So I've got like thirty characters rolled up that I can just pick and choose from. Oh, oh. gosh, I feel that. <laughs> I got like six, so I feel that. <laughs> yeah, not, th- I, but you know, five or six. Yeah. I uh, before you know, I I never been a big player of, uh, you know, people uh, races or species outside of the normal player's handbook. So when when we did Salt Marsh. Which again, you know, you think you're going to be playing four games, and uh, wow, I and got it. That's where Mitch McTortle came out. Wow, I, I got a scythe, oh. and I can hit you from ten feet away. I, I actually want to point out we actually finished a meta in one episode. What's what that? that again? Uh, we actually finished a meta in one episode. This that's actually impressive for Chris and Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. We're on time. I should have I should have healed the troll to make us go to another episode. <laughs> I could have shot so much healing. Oh, wow! I was I was I was all I was very tempted to try and go into the uh, into the healing spirits, but you know, just a few points. <laughs> uh, actually, I can choose uh, if the healing is expanded or not. So oh. it, it will be like step that I will be like, no, oh, you will not get healed you know? <laughs> for all two points of healing. Yep. Well, that, yeah, Those no, two points are not for you, you know. <laughs> if, the, if the if the enemy doesn't know that, um, and tries to go and get the healing, could put you know could put him in a in a bad spot. Yeah, yeah. Could have put him within range That's of me. Trip. Again, I really wish I hadn't tried to be original and had actually taken Firebolt instead of trying to be all fancy and do Ray of Frost because this is cool and different. Everyone yeah. has Firebolt. Ray of Frost. Every single of my spells is either. Uh, Necrotic or uh, poison or healing, <laughs> and only other thing that isn't on one of those things is basically a magic stone. <laughs> so I could eat those stones. Magic stone, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I could just yeah, imagine uh, you running over to the traps, picking up the rock, and making everything go boom. Oh, oh, this is about. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in a thing like this, he's usually DM's usually going to throw like a. A demon at you or something and, and they'll be fireproof so so yeah usually but no promise is not the standard dm well yeah so thomas for to that point i actually have to say i'm having issues in my own campaign be- with that because you ezra and Vo, are basically the only three dms i know or <laughs> to take experience from so i'm like I, I ended a, a combat and I go, wait, I could give them loot from this. They don't have to go shopping. I forgot. Because <laughs> my instinct is just Thomas version. So we we spent an episode, a Discord bunch, and a little bit more of the next one going shopping. Yes. Um, it's, it, you know, it, I, you know, I did give out, you know, loot, you know, and and you think you're giving what the players want, and then they're like, yeah, I don't want that. You're like, okay. That too. <laughs> but what, what Ben doesn't say is that he invented a dozen different shops, oh, each yeah. with its own quirky personality of the proprietor. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, each with so, an, uh, its own amusing name. So we had uh, the Gnome Depot. Uh, the <laughs> archery store was Target. Um, what, the weapon store was Bloodbath and Beyond. Nice. And, and then I have them all written down with their proprietor because it's Eberron and, and it's cool because they tell you specifically you don't go to a magic shop. Everything's magical to some point. But my personal favorite, I'll give props to Bo, was the clothing store, which was called Garb by Blarg Malark. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. And it was Blarg with his brother, the war veteran, with a head wound guard who could only say that anymore. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I think I think the <laughs> calling things that shop and the proprietor Dave does try to lend like let's let's there's nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> 
the Emporio of Day of the Day. We're going to go to this shop. What's its name? This shop. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, there was a while I was writing the synopses when you got back to Waterdeep and that shop had been raised. And that was when I went back through those early episodes and I was listening. I'm like, did it have a name? Did it have a name? And no, it never had a name. I was, it wasn't, I had the- it wasn't even that shop that became a, that was a later retcon. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, I mean, just, just last Tuesday I was, you know, they were going back, they went back to salt marsh and like, Oh man, what was, um, yeah, you know, what was, uh, Barden Thorne's husband's name? I'm like, God, I don't remember. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> David, but uh, yeah, I went back and I listened. I'm like, Oh, well, of course it is. Why? Well, it could have been Evod. Yeah. It could have been, it could could have been a lot of things. No, yeah. you're the Our DM. It couldn't happen. Based on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say I may or may not have an NPC planned called Dave Davison. Oh. Okay. Dave family. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you. Person. I am. You. I know. Um, I am a bard in real life. This is what I do. And your groans are music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, thank you so much. This was an absolute blast. Oh yeah, thank this is definitely guys. fun. I, I appreciate great. it. I think uh, I think next, like I said, I think next time it, it would it should be a DM and a player from Quest and Chaos, and then guests, and then we can. The idea is that we actually do these monthly and and get through them as uh, consistently as we can. That would be very cool. Yeah, yeah it is very cool. This is. <laughs> No, this this was an awesome opportunity and an, a, a ton of fun. Thank you, Thomas, for letting us be a part of this show yeah. that means so much to me. Yeah. Well, not That's show, awesome. but this channel means you know, so much to me. It's um, all one show. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, this channel yeah. is like watching watching Q and C is like the highlight of my week. Some days, so. Mm-hmm. Nice. Thank it, you. And it's you it's know, really. I, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, we wouldn't be able to do this, you know, without you guys. So we, you know, appreciate you tuning in and, and being part of the community. Um, I mean, the Discord is just amazing. Uh, <laughs> it's insanity. Everyone, it really... you know, so, interacting. So let me ask you a question as a community member. Um, besides bits and watching live and being a part of the community in general, what are the things that we as community members can actually do to help out the channel um i'm gonna put you on the spot now no no, no, I, no I mean and it, full, be totally candid um i mean wa- watching and being part that's that's the best right i mean just and i know that n- you can't people can't always tune in because we're doing stuff all the time um you or know the, so the things, watching out you know, you know or you live in you know check Back. <laughs> Um, so, you know, just watching, um, for monetarily, uh, the Patreon is our best bang for the buck outside of merch. Uh, so I should say buy merch first. It's advertising. <laughs> you get awesome shirts, uh, Seth. And, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Patreon oh, and then yeah. bits and then oh, stuff. Oh, dang it. My pin's in the other room. <laughs> oh, oh, are you regular actually- pin. Are, are you selling butt goblin pins yet? Uh, we are not. Um, <laughs> we did not <laughs> those. Um, so that that absolutely should be part of our uh, Kickstarter. That should be our uh, stretch goal. I don't know. I don't know if people who would buy a deck of inspiration need a butt goblin pin, but it does have like the halo, <laughs> stark but holy energy. It's the inside joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, uh, I think I think that's a good idea to to you know work with Andrea because she developed that um, and bring that into the Kickstarter. So one of the things that we are hopefully going to be doing. Um, so I need to reach out to Chaosium because we want to do a, a Cthulhu deck and we have Ooh. to get everything lined up before we do the Kickstarter. But the Kickstarter is going to be, I think it's seven decks total right now. So it is a. Uh, uh, decks of inspiration for levels one to four, five to nine, ten to fourteen, and then I think and then you know a high level deck. 
not all of that content is finished. So as we do the Kickstarter, we will also have a uh, submission page um, if you guys have ideas to put into those to go into some of the some of the decks. Um, and then we just uh, we actually talked to um, in here. Yeah, so we I talked to so Chris over at Nord Games. We had a long conversation, and his new uh, the people that make his cards like do the actual printing. Mm -hmm are very economic and even so have like a, a page Whoa. or like an insert. Um, so originally I had designed the credits on just a card size, but now that I know that I can put, um, hmm. I can put credits and play testers and everything else onto a, an insert, uh, we can do more cards. So we'll be able to do, oh, that's cool. I think, 54 or 55 cards in a deck. Um, so we're gonna need a lot more content than, than I currently have created. So we will open that up to also, you know, the community can can help build the decks. That's awesome. Um, and, and those hopefully will, you know, do huge on Kickstarter and then we can, you know, do that. You know, uh, as to the, the question, what we would love to do is right now we've got, you know, a, a core audience that keeps us going, right? Um, if we could have a thousand people. Hefner. I mean, tiny, tiny <laughs> little bit. And some Agatora. I mean, there, yeah. Agatora. <laughs> um, you know, so more people giving little, smaller amounts equals the same. So, I mean, it's, we appreciate everything. Um, we appreciate that you tune in, you know, you don't have to give this or anything, so, but I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm happy that I, I get to share, I get to play D and D now. Um, well, soon I'll get to play more D and D. <laughs> I don't know if I more D &D. Yeah. I don't know if I consider DMing playing D and D. It's you know, still know. kind of playing. Some people do. Some people do. I like to, hmm. you know, I like. I like to be surprised and, and experience stories. So I'm. Oh, I'm going, really? I am going to get to play in the Icewind Dale. Uh, oh, that's awesome! Oh, yeah. nice. Well, that'll be fun. Is that yeah. that's the sat the new Saturday one you said? New Saturday game. Um, we have it cast. Um, just need to to reach out to a couple more people, um, but it's going to be fun. I think we're starting that in November. Nice. So, uh, very far from now. Very and that'll, nice. this, that'll be this this um, this time. So two p.m. to five thirty, with a small break before Cthulhu starts. Can we awesome. get a sneak peek as to what your uh, character idea is for that? Murder, 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 <laughs> murder, murder. <laughs> kind of My original idea, um, I, I was going to be a barbarian um, from a noble house from Waterdeep. Mm. Um, and he was only a barbarian because he w would lose his temper and rage until I realized that is a terrible character idea. It's just like, a, a <coughs> it's a noble a-hole, right? I mean, it's just a noble. Aren't right? all nobles a-holes? Yeah. Exactly. But never mind, political filters on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's awful. Why? That's <laughs> awful. It would like, be okay. kind of hysterical to watch, but also awful. Yeah, I well that and as I was, you know, that was before I actually read the barbarian section. Um, and barbarians are all about fighting, and I wanted you know much more I uh, RP into that rather than just all the like the character benefits are basically all fighting. So, well, I think, I, I don't know. actually the. Um, the new book that's coming out next month, Tasha's uh, Cauldron of Everything, mm -hmm. it looks like they've said they're keeping most, if not all, the stuff from uh, the character class UA, which means mm -hmm. that, first off, Rangers would get a useful first and second level. Aww. And really? I think yeah, that. they could get, I think it was Hunter's Mark as a bonus action instead of favorite enemy or something like that but one nice. of the ones but one of the ones in there was barbarian giving them 
an ability for more social interaction skills. Mm, interesting. I'm, so we, I'm actually really excited about that book. Yeah. So we've, we we're with that campaign, you can start, um, really the, like the story gets started when you're level four, I think. Um, so, but we're going to start at level two and do a couple of levels before Tasha's comes out so that we can actually be like, nice. Oh, you know, what subclasses are in here that, that we can use and nice. bring in. So that should be good. I'm, uh, I, I think that I'm going to play a rogue, which is, mm. which is odd because I always want to play a rogue, but I never do play a rogue. Mm, yeah. Sort of like if somebody were asking me, what's your favorite character to play? I'd be like, I really want to play a rogue. And then I get to a game and I'm like, oh, I'll be the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you gotta stand your ground and just be like, I'm going to play the sneaky boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in my home game, I'm a celestial warlock and I have are, a are the healer. Yeah. Oh, we have a cleric too, but I keep stealing the heels, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite. I had to be like, you know, uh, so Chad, uh, who is in our chat uh, often, um, I was like, is it okay that I'm healing everybody? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Kind of reminds me of... Hey, clerics can be more than just healers. Yeah, yeah exactly. Droste is a real sign of that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, monument of fire. Reminds me of my old WoW days where we would have competitions between the top DPSers and the top overhealers. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Um... So it is uh, just after 5.30. So that is our time. Yeah. Thank you uh, for joining us. Thank you for the sub. 11 months, Brina. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually 2.30 a.m. here. Half, so, you know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, always the half. 369. I just like that it's 333. Like, I just really like that that was the number. I'm still ahead of him for now in subs for this for this week. <laughs> this week this week i've got two kids i can't match him i can't do it i try <laughs> that's you know we, we 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 definitely appreciate it and uh we're i i don't i don't know i don't know we, we i like doing this even though it's like it takes a lot of effort i really like it so. it's great and you guys yeah deserve so much more than you're getting and i really look forward to see you guys growing here in the future yeah third <laughs> yeah seriously though um i mean this is the reason i'm in tabletop gaming now is you guys and well i blame tiana for bringing me in but it's all of you and it's really interesting because i feel like i've got this group of friends that are constantly in my ears and then i remember i don't actually know you in person but <laughs> thank you for for really being such a a big positive part of my life the last couple of years i've been watching Go yeah on. same here i mean without quest and chaos i actually it was one of the first dm live shows i ever watched and uh <laughs> Without them, I probably wouldn't have gotten into D&D &D or I played Mo Pathfinder for a good majority of it too, but same concept. Mm -hmm. And without that, I wouldn't have wouldn't have had the confidence to even want to start a game ever. And now I'm creating a campaign of my own, completely nice. homebrew. Nice. And I know, I'm yeah. going to start that in a few weeks and I'm very excited. Awesome. What's uh, what's one thing that that you're most proud of in, in that? Uh, in the campaign I'm building, yeah. I created Without two new point. religions. Ooh. Two complete religions that give their uh, devout followers, cleric, paladins, uh, enhanced abilities. Oh, that's cool. One ability that I actually came up with myself that I've never seen anywhere else. And so I'm very excited to see how the mechanics work. <laughs> Are any of your players watching? Uh, no. No. Well, as as well they, they know it's in the backstory. <laughs> it's in the backstory. I just don't want to say it out loud <laughs> across, you know, all of our viewers. You know, it's something that I, I, it's my, you know, brainchild. I spend a lot of time building it and developing it. And it's a mechanic that grows as their power grows. So it's, it's very interesting. It's, and it's 
more of a darker religion, whereas most religions are on the light side. It's it's more of a drow religion. Nice. I'm so gonna be pinging you for this. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the well, ghost. Thanks well. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, and oh, yeah. Amy, and everyone else who's involved in this. Everybody. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Uh, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Twitch. Subscribe on Twitch if you would like. We are on Patreon. Um, sales. 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 Okay. Everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>